Hey guys, Alex here from Not That It Matters. Before this first episode gets underway, just a quick fair warning. Our audio is rough on this first one. We had some problem with the mixer and problems with the microphones. So the audio is going to be low and it's going to sound like we're mumbling the entire time. I promise we were not mumbling that bad. Uh, but I mean, the audio just sounds garbly and kind of shitty. We've already fixed this problem, as you can probably tell now from how I sound. So going forward, uh, the audio recording is not going to be an issue. I can promise you that. We like the content so much on this podcast that we just decided to release it anyway. Uh, we go on a lot of tangents, and that's pretty much what's going to happen going forward because uh, we like to ramble and we like to jump from topic to topic. So we figured that this podcast really showed who we are and what our relationship is. Please enjoy. Sorry again for the audio troubles. I promise that episode two will not be this rough. We should be releasing these probably every Monday. I think that's kind of how we're going to do it, even though this one's going to be coming out on a Tuesday. Please enjoy, though, and yeah, I've rambled enough. Just enjoy it. Thanks, guys. Uh, hey guys, welcome to the inaugural episode of Now That It Matters. Uh, I'm Alex Panu, and I'm joined with one of my best buddies in the world. What's his name? His name is uh, it's Nick Lanham. Nick Lanham. Lanham. What's up, buddy? Oh, you know. Uh, so Sometimes this is you. <laughs> so this is the inaugural podcast. Uh, basically, just uh, to start everything off, uh, I guess we'll go over kind of what we're going to talk about uh, going forward. Mostly, it's just whatever the fuck we find interesting. Which is so many different things. Yeah, it's mostly going to come in the form of comic books, comedy, yep. uh, probably sports a little bit, yeah, <laughs> even I though think, I'm not the most knowledgeable. Oh, yeah. You're, yeah. You know that. <laughs> yeah. So we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll go to Sports Corner. That's right. Sports Corner. <laughs> yeah, you'll have your own little theme song for it and everything. Oh, I have to. <laughs> I like uh, how I said we have so many different interests, but we just listed all of them. <laughs> Well, we got pop culture, and we'll probably talk movies and TV and stuff like that, too. Yeah, and just kind of whatever else is going on in our, with us that we want to talk about. Yeah, life stuff. Yeah. See, what I'm really looking forward to is uh, I can't afford to go to therapy every week now. <laughs> so I'm kind of just hoping that uh, this podcast turns into that. I think that's that's the only way. The only way to really have a therapeutic experience is to broadcast all of your major issues. To the of public. course. Yeah, it really keeps you honest. Yeah, I think it does. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Accountable. I think one thing we should mention is that uh, this is not the first podcast we've recorded. No, it's not. <laughs> we had a couple of uh, little stutter steps getting here. Mm -hmm. uh, a couple of real fuck ups. Yeah. Uh, Nick had a great idea of uh, the first one, which was uh, as we were talking comic books, we would also review local beers. Uh, yeah. And then uh, later that night after we recorded, I uh, realized that I'm a severe alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, we had a, I would say, a, just a random series of pee breaks between the three of the, the, yeah, you the know three what? of us, the two of us. I, I think that's the, well, the third one is my dick. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Both of you peed. Yeah, my bladder. It's got a yeah, uh, yeah, I think that was one of the problems. We recorded for two hours, and I peed four times. Yeah, he, did, you, did you pee four times yeah. in that? Yeah, oh. I got it. Yeah. There's a lot of just silence breaks. <laughs> or that, or you being like, okay, you just talk. And I'm like, okay. Yeah. So what I think about... I'll be gone for, I mean, probably three minutes. I just monologue about something terrible. Yeah, and then when you peed, I was already, like, kind of drunk a little bit. And I yeah. <laughs> I was like, you asked me to talk about something completely random. I don't remember what it was. but yeah. Oh, it's how to lose a guy in ten days. It wasn't what it was. <laughs> well... That's the only – my, like, slightly drunk mind, that's the only thing I could think of, which is how to lose a guy in 10 days. So you just – because I, I haven't heard I haven't heard it back. All I know is I walked back out and you weren't talking. Yeah, it was very so, silent. <laughs> I think you were just doing we'll edit it out. No, I wasn't. I was like, leave that shit in there. Oh, it boy. was awkward. Because most podcasts, when you when they pee, if, like, they need to take a break. They just leave an edit point. Yeah, just take a break like normal people. But we don't do that. No. I mean, we will going forward because we realize it makes bad podcasting. No, I don't think it does. I, I think you have to leave it in. I think Leave that. in the crippling silence. Well, I, yeah, while we also leave in us deciding what the format of our podcast is right now. I guess Not really. What? We've already kind of figured it out. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> we talk about things we're interested in. Oh, okay. oh yeah, yeah. That's what we started with. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. All right, yeah, yeah, I remember that. Now. All right, so uh, 
I think kind of going forward, what we're going to do is each episode, we're going to discuss uh, one issue or one trade of comics or one volume, Jesus, yeah. uh, one volume of a comic book uh, that we're super into. Uh, so the first uh, first week we are doing Saga Volume 1 by yeah. Brian K. Vaughn. Probably, I would say for most people, one of the best comics going right now. Yeah, and I've only read Volume 1. You've right. read you're completely caught up, right? Uh, yeah, I think I think I might have an issue or two left for me Behind. to be caught up, but uh, they're on a hiatus right now for sort of indeterminate period. So yeah, and how many issues are they on? Like fifty something, right? Sixty something. Sixty? Damn, and I've read five. Sixties. Yeah, you've got a while. Yeah, oh, I have shit. all of it, so you can read all that. Okay. okay. Um, I Brian K. Vaughn is uh, for anybody that doesn't know, Brian K. Vaughn is um a fairly prolific writer in the comics world for having not a massive uh, amount of stuff published. He's done quite a bit with what he has done. Uh, for example, Why the Last Man, Paper Girls, um, The Escapist. Uh, what's the recent one? He did the, the oversized one. I don't know. Barrier. Oh yeah, Barrier. Barrier. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I knew that you knew, <laughs> the you second you said it, I was like, oh yeah, I know that one. Is that no, the one written like half in Spanish, or is it all? Yeah, in Spanish? yeah. No, it's it, there's there's it's like half and half. I think it, oh, okay. it's actually maybe more Spanish, but um, I think I might be leaving out a few that are. Big on of his, but uh, oh, and he did the Runaways. That was a great thing that he did. Uh, Marvels, yeah, Marvels? the original run, and then it, Joss Whedon took over. And oh, okay, and then which there. run did they use for the TV show? His 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 run, yeah. Because I mean, they're not that old. I think it's you know early two thousands. Okay, so, that's a decent TV show. Yeah, that's okay. I, I really like the his run of Runaways. They're really yeah, cool. it it feels like it was just another one of those like uh, they want to make like a young adult superhero thing, like. YA TV shows are huge, yes. like like the 100 and kind right. of all those kind of shows. Yeah. Yeah, and so it feels like it was just like Marvel's like, oh, we got to pull one of these fuckers out. We oh, gotta yeah. We got to put out a YA show. Well, and they – because they have, they have like dark and gritty shows. They have like the movies. They have – and then they have like the more like – well, it was. I haven't kept up with it, but Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. was kind of you know, a little bit more quirky and upbeat comparatively. Yeah. It got darker. I but... think I watched like four seasons of that. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah I watched a lot like of it. Since. Yeah, when I moved last year, uh, and I, like, didn't have, like, when I was moving. Yeah. Uh, when I, like, didn't have a bed or sheets or anything. Just watch. Yeah, yeah, I would just put it on, like, as I was moving all my shit in. Mm. And, like, the first couple months when I was getting everything situated. Yeah. So I would just be, like, doing laundry and I'd have it on. Yeah, because... So I wasn't super into it, but... It's, it's like, a it's fine, but I think... Yeah, it's a good background show. Yeah, Runaways yeah. was, like, their attempt, yeah, accessing, ex- getting into that, like, youth side. Marvel. You know what's a surprisingly good, like, Marth, Marth. Martha Stewart? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Surprisingly good Martha Stewart She's show. She's pretty good. Yeah, we're in Snoop Dogg. All their work together is great. Yes. Yes. Uh, no, but uh, Cloak and Dagger is a, is, oh, a, yeah, yeah. is a really good. I really enjoy Cloak and Dagger. Like, young teen Marvel TV show. I, I don't think I watched the finale, actually, but I need to. I don't know if I should either. I, I watched every other episode. Yeah, I had it, uh, I had it DVR'd for a while, and then, yeah. uh. I moved again, and so I lost a DVR. Yeah, and cool. so I just didn't stick, didn't stick with it. I think Marvel probably saw too the success that DC had, not in their movies, but in those CW TV shows. Yeah, even though they're not really YA as much. No, but they, they kind of have that feel a little bit because of CW. Yeah, so it's all like because CW is and literally all yeah, <laughs> YA all shows. Yeah, it's the only thing it's, it does. Did Arrow? Does Arrow still hold up? Because I I watched like three seasons of that, and then I kind of got. Like that whole run with uh, John Barrowman, uh, uh-huh, where he was. Um, yeah, that first season, Malcolm that first two seasons were real good. Yeah, I'd say the the first three maybe were really good because the second one is when they did that backdoor pilot for the Flash. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And the Flash, the first couple seasons of that were really strong too. Um, but all of those shows have dropped off for me. Yeah, what I mean, what's your opinion on those weird uh, like movie TV show crossovers? Because the Flash. From the TV show is the Flash and Justice League. What? No, Isn't he's he? Not. No. He's not? It's Ezra Miller. It's a different person? Yes. Yeah. They look the same. Oh, boy. Um, <laughs> do they? Got kind of hair. Something. Wait, Fantastic Beasts, Ezra Miller? Yeah. As as seen in both Fantastic Beasts films, uh, we need to talk about Kevin uh, Perks being a wallflower, that Ezra Miller train wreck. Oh, yeah. Uh, or Grant Gustin, as known from Glee. Grant Gustin. He's oh, is that the, the Justice League one? No, oh, no, that's the that's, TV show. That's the CW one. Jesus Christ! Yeah, no, the movie star is the one that's in the movie. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <Yeah>. okay. <laughs> uh, oh, <laughs> I think all those. So you're saying there's a difference between movie stars yeah. and TV stars? But those okay. shows do crossovers, like Flash, Arrow, 
Legends of Tomorrow, um, Supergirl, and then I don't think Black Lightning has crossed over yet. I haven't watched Black Lightning, so I can't say if it's good or bad. Supergirl, I was it's like fun. Legends of Tomorrow is just not great. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's really bad. But I mean, it, it's it's had a few okay episodes, and it's kind of fun sometimes. But it's just it's just not there. Yeah. Flash has fallen off for me too. And Arrow is just a series of motorcycle chases <laughs> where they chase. <laughs> They chase a eight, an eighteen wheeler whose back doors fly open, and there's men with machine guns who yeah. have the worst aim. Is uh, I was just chasing them on a motorcycle. Is part of the reason why they have to do that is because shooting an arrow is so just it's like a non thing. <laughs> like it's so just like oh, okay, shot an arrow. Okay, well he's not. Yeah, that's <laughs> like, like it's, it's not like arrow. he's not the he's not like the Green Arrow in the comics. He shoots like. Like punching glove, like you know, he's got like the he's got other boxing gloves, punching arrows. gloves, boxing gloves, are punching talking. gloves. That's so stupid. It, well, no, but they're goofy and fun. Like okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He, and he's, and also, he's trying to go dark gritty, like all the DC shows yeah. do. Because the the Green Arrow character in the comics is like really snarky and funny, and he's like very politically charged. Like he yeah. hates, he's like very liberal, and he hates like he's always talking about politics, and he's very like he's very he's got a lot of like fun witty quips. He's kind of like okay. Also, he's kind of like a loner, you know, which they kind of get that. That's like the only bit they seized on. He shoots arrows and he's a loner. That's so it's kind of like used. a deadpool like Spider-Man arrow guy. No, 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 not, no. Not that quippy and funny. No, he's more just got like some snark. Oh, okay. like when I say quippy, I more mean like, you know, somebody will say like something really dark and he'll be like, no, not again. Like that kind of, <laughs> kind of stuff. Like that's more okay. what his thing is. Okay. He, there's a re- he's in uh, Green Lantern Rebirth. You read Green Lantern Rebirth? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's I like got a that. really cool moment where he like forces an arrow out of the ring, like he uses his will to. Power oh the ring. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a well, cool character. Yeah, the thing about Rebirth uh, that I didn't really know going in because uh, you gave me the entire run of that. The Jeff Johns Green Lantern. Yeah, it's yeah. like five or six volumes, right? Yeah, it's a big stack of them. Yeah. Uh, but I didn't realize because I'd only like my experience with Green Lantern has only been the Ryan Reynolds movie. Oh boy, that's yeah. all I know. And so I only know it as Hal Jordan. And so when it was somebody else, I was like, yeah. wait, what? Like, I didn't really get it. Yeah, well, especially because you were coming in then when Hal had just, like, already killed all of the yeah, Green Lantern. literally and... destroyed the entire Lantern Corps. Yeah. And then when you get it, you basically get, like, a crash course, and then it explodes into all the different, like, emotional yeah. like emotional spectrum, like the, the color spectrum of all the different um, all Lantern different Corps. Lanterns. Yeah. But uh, back to Saga. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, one thing I think that's going to come up a lot is that this show is just going to be fucking tangents. tangents out the ass. Yeah, yeah. Just tangent after tangent. Yeah. We set up Saga like did. five, ten minutes ago. Yeah. Oh, and we yeah. have not gotten yeah. back to it. Well, it was All like, we said yeah. was we read Saga. It's by Brian K. Vaughn. Yeah. Here's ten minutes of other superhero things. And I, I feel bad because I, I don't know, like – I'm not as good with artists. Like what the big ones I know, but like Fiona Staples who does Saga, I can't really say like as much of like what her like body of work is. I, I know she was a lot younger when it came out, so I know that like it might have been one of the first things she did. I don't want to say that. Dude, if that's one say. of the first things she ever did, she nailed it. The artwork in Saga Volume One is terrific. She's yeah, she's great. I love all I love the characters her style. are so distinct and oh yeah, and she's. She's got like a really like she's got a good like humor to her art that I think you need in Saga because it's such a such a just an absurd comic. Yeah, yeah. But, she's really good with facial expressions too. I'm trying to think, she's done some stuff for Archie. I mean, that's like Saga's like her only really big thing. That I wow. Know. Like good for her. Yeah, got like DV8 Gods and Monsters. I don't know that. Um, it's a Wildstorm thing. Huh. I guess Warren Ellis worked on it, so that's pretty good. Thunder Agents? Hmm. I think another thing that uh, is going to come up quite a bit is that Nick has been reading comics for how many years, would you say? Especially, like, this current stuff. I'm, like, well, it's, I would say, like, I'm caught up, especially, like, with this. No, 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 no. Like, now. comics in general. Like, how long have you been reading comics? Oh, man. A long time. I don't know. Like, long. 20 years? No. Because I, 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 it was, it was probably, like, I had them, I had, like, Archie and stuff like that growing up. Like, I really got into comics in, like, middle school, high school. Like, really high school. Like, yeah. Okay, but I mean, it's yeah. still yeah. probably 12, 13 years. Yeah, oh, easily, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and Especially I, I'm, I'm on, like, eight months of reading comic yeah. books. Yeah, I Well, I see, you had the same thing I did. I, 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 like, read some, and then, like, when I was younger, a lot, like, a while ago, obviously, I had a good friend, my buddy Corbin, who, like, 
helped me get into comics more. Like I was liking them and he, I was, I was like, this is cool. And then he really like gave me stuff to like show me the world of comics, you know what I mean? Yeah. Which is kind of what you did. I think. Right. To me. Yeah. Yeah. I think you need somebody to kind of like hold your hand to like, to get somebody really into comic books. Yeah. You have to just, cause walking into a comic book store for the first time without somebody, it is probably the most intimidating thing in the world. Mm -hmm. I mean, you go in and there are, I mean, it's so much more than a bookstore. Because you have, it's like... so hyper-specific. Yeah. Well, I mean, you have, like, even, like, just Iron Man. Mm -hmm. There's, like, mm -hmm. 12 different volumes from, like, 12 different authors. And I wonder if they can hear the uh, the yeah. sirens out front. I'm sure they can. Yeah, they really can. Yeah, there's a lot of old people that live in this neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> and so I think a lot of people just die. <laughs> they'll be, like, 3 in the morning, and there'll be, like, an ambulance, like... Like two blocks down. I've, from I've, yeah, from what I've seen of your neighbors, it's a weird mixture of like 50 and older and 30 and younger. Oh, yeah. It's like it's kids fresh out of college. Yeah. And like old swingers. Yeah, so people come and they stay for like their youth and then they leave or they stay forever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think people come here because it's like, I think, yeah, I think they're hanging on to youth a little bit. Yeah. Where it's like, I'm 75. My wife's dead. <laughs> like, oh yeah. I want to just be around young people, so I oh. still have a fervor for life. Feel young. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Did you just see him up at the pool? It is a weird, weird people watching scenario. Oh, I don't think I'd like it, dude. It's like sixty-five year old, like super tan guys with like old barbed wire tattoos. Oh sweet. And like beer guts, god. and they're like, some of them are with their wives, some of them are just by themselves. Yeah. And. It's like twenty five year old girls in bikinis, like and they like flirt with them. It's yeah. so creepy. That's just great. This is one of the weirdest things ever. I think that 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 is something we're going to touch on later is dating. Cause we're, yeah. But I think so. That would have been a great segue. But uh, dude, we're talking saga. I know. <laughs> we're talking saga. You wouldn't know by the content of what we're saying. No. Okay. Let's 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 get into saga. Okay. Yeah. We'll so, talk about dating in a little bit. That. But I, I think it's funny that we started with saga because. Um, as one of our favorite podcasts does, Alex, you should tell me what you think the story of Saga is. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, so Saga is the story of like this intergalactic war, or like yeah, no, yeah, inter like planetary war. Yeah, and there's like these this group of horned people. Yeah, and this group of like angelly people, and they're angel, fighting like fairy people, fairy also. people, and uh, don't help me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know, and. Uh, <laughs> Uh, two of them fall in love in the middle of the war, and they have a kid, and both, like, groups of species think it's, like, an abomination, yes. so they hunt them down. Yeah. That's a, that's a pretty good... Yeah. That's a pretty good overview. And it's told from the perspective of the baby? Yeah, the baby. Told from Hazel's barrier. perspective? Yeah, Hazel is the, their child. Alana and Marco are the mom and the dad, respectively. Yeah. And they... Mom's the, mom's the fairy angel lady. Yeah. Guy's the dude with horns. Marco's the guy with horns. Um, guys, the dude with horns. I'm guys, fucking a wordsmith. No, that's it. <laughs> guys, the dude with horns. <laughs> it's like Just fucking mumble title. through it too. Yeah. Well, it's guys colon the, the dude dudes with horns. horns. Yeah, the dudes with horns. Yeah, you know how it is. That's a great feminist novel waiting to happen. And I would read it. It's I'd a great TV show. Yeah. Oh, guys, the dude with horns. I would, oh. It's a great Adult Swim show. <laughs> oh yeah, that is, that is really good. <laughs> a late night Adult Swim show. I feel like it guys, would, the dudes with horns. I feel like that was like an old Adult Swim show. Like I feel like I'd watch that and then like Brack would come on. Or like a Robot Chicken. Yeah, or, like yeah. old Robot Celebrity yeah. Deathmatch. Yeah, oh, or like then like or Celebrity Deathmatch. Was that MTV? That was MTV. Because I was gonna say then like Wonder it's like in the same it. vein though. Yeah, like it feels it feels like it was on Adult Swim. You see, Celebrity Deathmatch is supposed to come back for real. Yeah, <laughs> that's great. Um, okay, but I outside. hope it's still really shitty claymation. Oh, I wouldn't watch it if it yeah. was. I just gotta hear somebody. Yeah. It's like really nice now. It's like <laughs> it's like Big Mouth or like oh, they just hang out like <laughs> Sim like how The Simpsons was real shitty and now it's like amazing 3D. I know. I don't like that. It's, I hate the old Simpsons. I can't watch it. You do? I wasn't. I've never been a big Simpsons fan. Me neither. Uh, my big. Uh, I really love it. <laughs> my big thing with the Simpsons is that I used to play a, uh, I think it was Simpsons Road Rage on the yeah. original Xbox. Sure. That's like the only thing I know. Yeah. I, I would just pick up like Smithers and take them to a Pooh's fucking drugstore. That's all I would do. <laughs> <laughs> People love that show. I, um, I'm, no, we're talking about Saga. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> um, okay. So the cool thing about Saga, uh, my, my favorite part about Saga is the universe that, yeah, um, Brian, it's very cool. Vaughn and Staples build. Like, 
I the two warring factions, the two planets that Marco and Alana come from, have been fighting for so long that they don't remember why they're fighting. Yeah. And that and that they've like they've like outsourced the war. So their two planets aren't really fighting as much anymore. It's like other planets and other species. Yeah, it's like Cold War shit. Yeah, it's very like they're fighting like tertiary. Yeah. yeah, proxy wars like tertiary battles. And... Yeah. So like you're following these characters who like hate each other, and you don't. They don't know why they hate each other, and you wonder what the hatred could be like. I shouldn't say the there are two characters because they're in love when you meet them. The two species. Yeah, then you wonder why they hate each other so much, but they can't even tell you. Yeah. They can. They give you. Do they tell you at some point? Well, they give. Uh, just tiny bits and pieces of information away, but it's not really like. No, they give different stories, like differing oh, they both, stories. Each yeah. species gives a different story. Uh, there might be. I forget if there is an issue where they definitively tell you how the war started between their two planets. But it's funny because their two planets are next door to each other. It's a moon and a planet. Yeah. And they're not even fighting anymore. The war is like. It's like a whole other solar away. system, yeah. Yeah. They sort of like live in peace while they're fighting, like in at war with each other. Yeah. And then you have, so then you have. Because even Alana and Marco were like, isn't this war like fucking over? Well, they don't know. It's really yeah. not. Because they were both soldiers, and that's how they met. She captured him, and he yeah. went out. Find that out later, but. And he busted a baby up in her. He did bust it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She, yeah. And then, she, I mean, it starts, it starts like. <laughs> I like how that just completely, like, took the wind out of your sails. It really whatever. did. <laughs> <laughs> it just was really disarming. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I, guess, <laughs> I mean, he really did. I don't I know guess how he did that. that. How's that smoothie? It's really good. Yeah. yeah. What'd you get? What I get? Um, so wait, let me get strawberry banana. Ooh, it's strawberry, but it is shredder. Is what it's called? The shredder? Yeah. What is what that? Just what it does to your colon? I'm sure. Because <laughs> I mean, if you look at me, I'm shredded, and <laughs> you would know it. Um, the. I mean, I could tell from that fucking red flannel you're wearing. Thank you. <laughs> you can brawny, see my bulging <laughs> little brawny man shirt. <laughs> Bra- literally, yeah. brawny man. Yeah. yeah. The, <laughs> You're the hipster cover of a fucking paper towel wrapper. You're damn right I am. <laughs> I mean, I'm just the brawny yeah. man if you put horn room glasses on. <laughs> You're the brawny man that's like kind of doughy mm-hmm. with glasses and a comb over. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, if he kind of let himself go, got younger, and put glasses on. Move to San Francisco. <laughs> Move to San Francisco. <laughs> or Seattle. Seattle is better. Yeah. Oh, Austin be good too. Yeah. Portland. Yeah. yeah. Just all crunchy places. Just listens to like Mumford. And I stuff. can't really talk. I'm wearing Birkenstock sandals. OG Birkenstock. Yeah, they're like the old Birkenstocks. Like oh, they're coming apart too. These are my house yeah. shoes. <laughs> what house shoes? Like that alone. Just, yeah. You sound like you're gonna have like like Irish driving moccasins, and we're just like a shoe I have. Forever. I have two pairs of moccasins. Yeah, but they're not like there's moccasin moccasins. Right? Yeah. Okay. What's an Irish driving box? I don't know. It's from a neighbor. <laughs> yeah, Schmidt says he has Irish <laughs> driving boxes or something like that. Uh, is that while he's eating chutney? It's his hair chutney? Yeah. yeah. I like how I put the mic where I'm... What are you doing? I was zipping my zipper, <laughs> and I realized I put the mic in my... Like, held it there, so you, you actually heard a better version of yeah. doing it than if I held it up I thought you were pulling your dick out for a second. I was. And okay. I put it away. Well, you're looking at some of the artwork in Saga. I just got real turned on. There is quite a bit of nudity. For, there is. Like, it starts with her giving birth explicitly. Well, I think the first line is, oh, fuck, I feel like I'm shitting. I That's true, the, yeah. first, yeah. the first line of the entire comic yeah. is, oh, fuck, I feel like I'm yeah. shitting. Yeah. And he's just like, Marco's just freaking out because he doesn't know how to deliver a baby. Yeah. And his wife is like, you get this fucking baby out of me right now. Actually, not his wife. Oh, are they they're not, not married? No, they're not married. No, I just uh, kind of assumed they were. No, they're like together, but he... uh. He uh he gave her oh no he proposed to her so yeah. I think they like they are married yep. but he's also technically married to like his high school sweetheart oh that's no like back on another planet he's engaged to her he's engaged to that no girl. he's married to that girl is he I think so engaged she comes up later on or does she already met her and no no he just discusses the rings with her and she gets real pissed yes yeah yeah oh no no because he's dying and then <laughs> he's like oh. Isabel or whatever the fuck oh, her name yeah. is. She's like, who the fuck? Is yeah. Or <laughs> <laughs> it was Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn. That's which is idea. one of the worst names of all time. Oh, it's great though. Gwendolyn. Yeah, it's a great it's a great name for an estranged lover. Yeah. <laughs> Gwen's already a shit name. Gwen. Yeah. And the she full is. Gwendolyn is brutal. What's like if you had to, what's like the worst name? Like a girl name or boy name, either one. One one oh. page. Uh the name Ralph for a guy is pretty bad. Oh, Ralph's yeah. bad. Ralph's bad. I'm going to go with Dwayne. Dwayne? <laughs> no, because then you can be like, I'm the fucking rock, bitch. 
Like, That's one person that makes Dwayne work. Yes. Name another. And people don't call him. I mean, they, he goes by Dwayne Johnson, but he's The Rock. No, he's Dwayne now. He's Dwayne The Rock. Well, I agree to disagree. <laughs> uh, for women, uh, Ruth's a real bad one. Ruth. Okay. Yeah. All the R names are bad. What else? Like Rita? <laughs> oh, Rita's fucking terrible. Uh, Sherry. Oh, I haven't had Sherry. I know. Uh, my girlfriend's aunt's named Sherry, too. Is it my aunt Sherry? I don't think so. Is Brandy my cousin? Are we related? Yeah. Wait, that wouldn't even be related. Mom? That would be like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Conceivably, we don't have to know each other at all. But, yeah. uh, what's another really shit name? For a girl or a boy? Uh, for either. No. <laughs> for a guy? Uh, uh, Adolf's real bad. <laughs> That was, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's a risky one. That was probably good in Germany, like oh, in like great. the twenties, yeah, yeah. like before all that shit happened. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, now that's a real rough one. Yeah, I feel like it's not a bad one, but I feel like it's just a movie you don't want to pull on your kid to name them Jesus. <laughs> Jesus, yeah. Uh, I saw one. I saw a news article. Uh, I'm gonna put news in air quotes right now. Yeah, feel free. Uh, this woman was uh like bitching. Like to the news because somebody laughed at her kid's name. Her kid's name was A B C D E, and the guy laughed at her because she, and she's like, "No, it's pronounced A B C D." <laughs> it's like A B City. Oh, A B City. <laughs> well, I went to I went to. That's so much worse. <laughs> it's not. It's not that bad. It's just annoying. Okay, if your fucking name was A B C D E. You would want to punch your mom in the face. I would, but I'm saying, no, I'm saying like. Or punch your parents. Like how, I feel like I wouldn't be, I don't know, I feel like I wouldn't be that upset because I just wouldn't go by it. Yeah. Yeah, you know like the I mean? like, second you turn like 16, you're like, fuck this, I'm changing my name. No, I feel like the second I turned like seven, <laughs> I would be like, fuck you this. You just go to the DMV by yourself? No, I meant like, I hope my middle name. You over there on your razor? It's probably like A, B, C, D, E, John Smith. Like I would just go by John. Oh, that's, <laughs> that was a real name. I I went to preschool though with Oh, you know what's a dope name though? Oh, I had something. Oh, sorry. You know what? <laughs> Go on. I was gonna say I'm Thelonious. Gonna... Dude, Thelonious. Thelonious monk. Uh one of my uh one of the girls I work with, her uh I think it's her little brother or cousin. Their name is Thelonious. Can I ask you a really quick question? This yeah. is really fun. So you you said something, then I go, actually I went to middle school with and then you started something. <laughs> then I go, I had something and you said, Really? I have to know. Did you actually not know that I was speaking? <laughs> I, I truly did not. <laughs> that is amazing to me. <laughs> like, I'm not offended in any way. I think it's incredible. Uh, I literally just, I listen to you more than probably most people. I appreciate that. But most you. people, I don't fucking, I don't care. No. Like, the people yeah. that I care about, I'll listen to you. Yeah. But if, like, if you're just a person yeah. that's, like, just person. around me, yeah. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. No. Like, random, like, people in class or... Yeah. Like, uh, like if I'm shopping and a no, cashier no. says like a funny joke, mm. I'll just, I'll barrel through it. I don't give a fuck. I, oh yeah. I've I, seen, I, yeah. I won't listen to I've it. seen you. I just, especially like, <laughs> I remember like on set when we were like, when I'd be directing and you're just like hanging out, you are just fucking, <laughs> I'm just going. talking over. I could literally, I'm just waiting for you to stop so we can, <laughs> I can say action. Yeah. And you're just speaking about whatever. Dude, you have no idea. I like, do. No. It's so much worse if I'm with my girlfriend and it's just the two of us. Mm. I'm the most annoying person I've ever met. <laughs> it's obnoxious. I don't... I'm just fucking jumping on her and talk, just saying nonsense. It's probably why she just is like, mm -hmm, uh -huh. well, she doesn't even try to talk because she knows yeah. you're just going to be like, oh, I'm just going to talk over you. Yeah. I'm uh, just living in my own world. Which is fun. Yeah. That being said, the names that I went to preschool with, I think you're going to very much enjoy... Uh, mom, oh, I just really thought of something. <laughs> I'm sure you did. <laughs> I'm go, sure I want to murder go, you. Go. Their mom, when she was pregnant, um, craved this, so she named her twin boys after this. KFC fried chicken. I wish. <laughs> no, it was Orangelo and Lamangelo. Orange Jello and Lemon Jello. Oh. Orangelo and Lamangelo. Oh, fuck me. If they listen to this, they're going to know I'm talking about them. There's no way there's anybody else called that. Uh, I work with a... Uh... There's a guy who's a he's a cook and like a, he's like the expo guy at uh, the restaurant I work at. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and his name, I I'm not I'm I'm look at me, I'm not fucking with you. His name is Nike Air. 
What? <laughs> like the fucking shoe. No. Nike Air. What? It's spelled N Y K E A I R. Nike Air. Nike Air. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. His last name is Air? No, that's his name is Nike Air. Nike Air. Nike Air. That's and crazy. he goes by Nike. Oh, I literally, I have to call another grown man Nike. You're like, Nike Air, will you do blah, blah, blah? And he's like, no, and you're like, just do it. Yeah. His best friend's name is New Balance. Oh, Jesus Christ. I missed the New Balance. What is up with all these fucking cops and ambulances outside? You were so ready to make a New Balance joke. Yeah. That you just (laughs) completely missed. It wasn't even a good joke. I just thought of another shoe brand that would be kind of silly. Yeah, you're like, Nike, Adidas it. Yeah. (laughs) Got him. Yeah. Whenever we had to stay home from school when he was a kid, he's like, oh, I'm A6. You know what would have been better? No. <laughs> after a year after his fifth birthday, he was like, "Oh, I'm a six. Six. <laughs> God, that's so fucking dumb. Ugh. Holy shit! Does he call his house the Foot Locker? <laughs> <laughs> oh God damn it! Okay, um, okay. So back to Saga. We gotta move on from this. Running we're shoes. Just, we're just going what? so we're just going so long. Oh my god, this. yeah. Saga. Yeah, we've already been talking for a half hour and we've I, mentioned three things about Saga. I think we should just really quick Oh, I just kicked the recorder. Would we say would you recommend anybody read this? Nah. No? I'm kidding, I loved it. It's great. Uh, let's say out of ten. What would you give out of ten? Out of ten? Don't be a douche and be like nine point three. Uh <laughs> oh. It's either a nine or a ten. Yeah, I would say. I give, I give, I reserve 10 for Killer Be Killed. Because that's my favorite comic. Killer Be Killed is like, there's, that's, that's your bar. That's my pinnacle. Okay. That's a 10 out of 10. Has anything else gotten a 10 from you? Black Hammer, maybe? Ooh, Black Hammer's a 10. That's a 10. Black Hammer's great. Yeah. See, I'm only giving Saga a 9 right now. Yeah. Because it's only volume 1. And you only read 5. And I've only read 5. Yeah. yeah. The Black Hammer. Killer Be Killed, I'm combining it with like the whole body of work. That 20 issue run. What that is. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm giving that a 10. Uh, and right. then Black Hammer is the same thing. I've read, I'm caught up, so it's a ten out of ten for me. Oh, you are caught up. Oh uh, no, I'm, I haven't read the Age of Doom stuff yet. Have you, you read Doctor Star and Sherlock Frankenstein though? Right? Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You haven't read, you haven't read Quantum Age. Uh, I'm a couple issues in. I think. I want to read. There's a new spinoff coming out next week called Cthulhu Louise. <laughs> of the uh, like the plumber dude is Cthulhu now. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's his daughter Louise. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, they have a little <laughs> Cthulhu girl. Yeah, Cthulhu Louise. <laughs> oh, it's Cthulhu so Louise. It's oh. such a dumb pun. Oh, it's amazing. It's though. great, though. It's, yeah. Dude, Thank we're 30 here. minutes in, and I yeah. peed right before you pee we right started now. this podcast, and I have to pee again. Shit. All right. Well, you know what? We're. I think we have to. I think we have to leave this with just you talking. No. It's so it just doesn't. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna talk? Talk about? more about Saga. Go back to Saga. Then you get a dude. You get a full like minute and a half talking about Saga where I'm not fucking with you. Uh, that doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll give it my grade while you go pee. Okay, yeah, yeah. Give your grade. Uh, I'm gonna go pee. Release this fucking you bladder. Take that mic with you? <laughs> I could take the mic. It'll reach You're in there. And you are starting to walk towards the bathroom. It looks like the mic's still in your hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What if I just put the mic directly on my dick? That'd be fine. Where's it been the whole time before now? <laughs> in my mouth. Nobody wants to hear actually, your voice. It's actually how I talk. I put the entire mic in my mouth and talk. I just assumed you talked out your asshole, but that that thing, when you open that, that's where your voice comes from? Jays. All right. I'm going to go pee. I thought that's somebody just got here. No. They didn't. no. I'm going to go pee. Uh, so for me... I'd say Saga's probably, yeah, like a 9 or a 10 for sure. I don't know why I wouldn't I wouldn't give it a 10. I, I want to, I, as I because I, we're just using the first volume, I think is the reason I'm giving it a 9. I think it does a really great job to set up everything that's coming next, but there's so many, like, heartbreaking moments that are mixed in with amazing humor that come later in the story that I think are, like, hard, solid 10s that you might... For, with the like with the foresight of knowing what comes next, I think I could give it I could give this a nine knowing that tens are coming. So it's not really a, it's not really a knock on it. You could still say it's a ten overall easily, but I'd maybe say the first volume is a nine. Um, 
That being said, since we are also talking about a single issue, uh, we have the number one of the What's the single team. issue? The waste management crisis in India? Well, yeah, we've, we've really hit <laughs> that one hard in class. Uh, the, we have the first issue of Scotty Young and Jorge Corona's new book, Middle West. Yes. Number one from Image Comics. Uh, Saga also in Image Comics. That's uh, mostly what I read. I don't read yeah, any like, Big Two stuff, yeah. I've cut a lot of the Big Two stuff out. Yeah. At this point. yeah I'm, I'm it's really falling off. Yeah, it's it's well, it's just too inconsistent. Yeah, you get you get these like and, bursts of good runs, and then they either get canceled or they turn to shit. Yeah, and it really feels like crossover event. Like for artists, it feels like the majority of artists and colorists they go to image, like the really good ones. I haven't like a lot of the image books that I read, they're all gorgeous, and a lot of the big two stuff I've kind of tried to dabble in. I mean, apart from a few, the art's just real subpar. It's well, they both have like a house style, but everybody yeah. tries to match. And so the stuff that sticks out is the stuff that isn't that. Yeah. Sometimes not. Sometimes it like doesn't. the Immortal Hulk stuff doesn't feel like a, a traditional no, Marvel no, comic. No. Uh, the well, like the, that new that new run of Thor that's just came out from Jason Aaron, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's. I just don't. Art's not, I, I can't remember who's doing. I mean, it's really that. colorful, but it's like there's so fucking much going on. It's this, like that's just convoluted story wise too. I guess. Yeah, it's, it's also like that. like image. It it feels like filmmakers. Like are doing the art for it. Like the composition yeah. is beautiful. Even though ironically, Saga is Brian K. Vaughn's one of his main goals with Saga was to make it unfilmable. Oh, for real? Yeah, nobody holds the rights to it. I, I don't know how you'd film it. I don't think you can. Same with like that. Black Hammer, like stuff like that. They you are can, doing you, Black Hammer. I know, but I don't think it's gonna do. I don't think it's gonna look good. Legendary, it's pretty good. And Jeff yeah. Lemire's like 100 percent involved. Is he writing it? I mean, yeah. They, I mean, we don't know to what extent, but he's. I mean, he. Sold full creative rights with the right to work on every project. So. Oh, that's fucking cool. That's yeah. a really good thing to get. But they also made sure because it's such a black hammer, is such a thing unto itself. That yeah, it's made real. It's, it's really out there too. Well, not just that, but it's also it. It was so new. It was what thirteen issues. And then he wrote multiple spinoffs before continuing the main story. Yeah, I've yeah. never seen something that quick. Thirteen issues, uh, one spinoff, another yeah. spinoff. And then Age of Doom, and then Age of Doom, and then another spinoff. Age, yeah, and now a third, a fourth spinoff. And a fourth spinoff. Cthulhu Louise. <laughs> and then the Age of Doom is still going on. He's, but he's two years ahead. He said on Black Hammer. Damn. Well, that is like that is a really good part about about Image is that they just let you do whatever the fuck you want. Mm -hmm. And you can come out as as quick or as slow as you want. Some of their big books don't come out very often anymore. Like Deadly Class is very slow now that um, Rick Remender is doing. The Deadly Class show, he's doing um, uh, Death of you know, Glory. Yeah, which is not very good anymore. Death of Glory fell off? Yeah, well, I'm just. A, I'm a few behind. The first couple were pretty good, and then it just kind of. It's it's not really. It doesn't hold me like. Car that's, chases in comics, especially when that's the premise of the comic. Don't yeah. Do anything. That first issue was amazing, though. It was really Death cool. Yeah, the first. Uh, he's, he's and the artwork good. is great. Yeah, he, I mean, it's he writes colored them, like, beautifully. It's things. a lot of, like, primary colors, kind of. Yeah, very It's a lot yeah. of, like, like, like straight, straight up red. And whites, then, reds, yeah, blues, blue. like, and like everything is like that, like it's a royal blue, like yeah, and then it's all on like the backdrop of like desert, yeah, like so that, looks, like that, like dirty tan and all kinds, of dirty yeah. tan, dirty tan. It sounds like you're getting a hand job in a tanning bed. <laughs> <laughs> the dirty tan, the dirty tan. I've gotten a dirty tan, or it's I'm not, I've never tanned with tan. I'm an elf. I'm a, essentially just a ghost. Yeah. Or if you get like a sleaze core outfit designed by Tan France. <laughs> sleaze core. Yeah, you know what sleaze core is? It's like, like the, something I would like. That's like the Pete Davidson look now. Oh, that's that's like, sleaze core? Yeah, you wear like nice joggers and like a t shirt, but it's like all kind of fancy. The sleaze look used to be like. It was it's like kind of what I'm doing right now. I have joggers and a hoodie on, but it's like a nice hoodie. Oh, okay. So it's just like a piece of shit look. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking like a dumb fucking asshole. Yeah, you really look like a bum. No, the, the sleaze look before used to be like... I shaved for this fucking shit. No, you... Did you? I did. Well, I didn't oh, shave the beard. Trying. No, I shaved my neck. I get that, oh, yeah, that really do. gross neck beard. Do they connect your neck and your chest? Dude, I literally have hair from my nose yeah. to, like, my toes. <laughs> I do, too, but mine don't connect. Like, there's like a, Everything there's connects. Like, there's, like, some patchiness, especially on the face. Old I get, like, single hair. back hairs, which is real fun. I get Because occasionally I'll get, like, a fucking four-inch long back hair. Know, it's like, real gross. I saw my back yesterday. I don't know. Dude, they literally come from nowhere. Like, uh, I'll, I'll have nothing, and then all of a sudden I'll have a crazy long back hair. I, think, but, I do go from, like, my nose 
It comes down. I got a, yeah. I got a thick old beard right now. Yeah, you do. And then I get the neck beard, and then it connects like underneath my Adam's apple to my chest, and it goes like I have it like on my collarbone and yeah. shit. Yeah, mine. It's brutal. Mine ends here, like right, at, like the base of like where my actual. Uh, chin this ends. is this is a podcast, so you, yeah, <laughs> you can't say it's playing. right here, and I, you can't just point to it. They'll know. <laughs> <laughs> mine ends at like the base of like where my actual neck is, like right above. What would be my Adam's apple if I had any level of masculinity? And then <laughs> it's a very faint one. It's yeah, it's barely it's barely there. there. Yeah, and then and then it starts like right at like the right at the, like the middle of my sternum, and then it just never stops. And I mean like it's like I think the reason that I don't have much hair on my face is because I have such dense hair everywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> dense hair. It's I just it's a jungle. It's a thorny thicket. Yeah, I mean it's an adventure getting anywhere down there. Just like yeah, keep myself yeah. Through. It's but, like you're going through the original Planet of the Apes jungle. I would. Uh, I just want to say, we introduced Middle West and we've said nothing about it. Yeah. So, <laughs> we, we've said all, all – image is great. Um, Middle West is a first issue from Scotty Young, who you might know if you're reading comics right now is doing the current run of Deadpool. Um, also, not good. Yeah, I'm not I mean, a fan it, of it. For me, it felt more just like – Average, like it felt too mediocre coming from Jerry Duggan's run. Yeah, like it's. I it's, never read any of that. Any yeah, of that it's run. great. He did. I don't, what, I'll probably buy a trade of it. Yeah, the, especially the last. <laughs> the trade of it. I'll buy the yeah. Good luck. Thirty trades of get it. Get that. Get that one trade with all three hundred. That's just massive omnibus. Oh Jesus! But uh, are you a fan of reading comics that way? Omnibus. Yeah, yeah those big ass books. I am if it's like the only way you can really get them. Like, like right now, like Walking, Patrol, like The Walking Dead. I, I guess are those really omnibuses? You can buy those in trade pretty easy still because they're so popular yeah. right now. Yeah, like Doom Patrol. I'm reading. I'm catching up on Grant Morrison. Doom Patrol? Patrol. Yeah, because the show's coming out on DC Universe, the Doom Patrol show. I uh, and I'm reading. Then I'm gonna read Gerard Way's run. Okay. My Chemical Romance is <laughs> Gerard yeah. Way. He's writing comic books now. He's doing a great job. He's yeah, a, he's a good writer. I don't think that DC Universe streaming service is gonna take off. I mean, people like Titans a lot. Um, and then, how many, like, how many possible subscribers do they have? A million at the most? What, right now? I, w- I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't seven figures. I would, I wouldn't be shocked if it was like five hundred thousand, maybe or something. Yeah, because it's not available outside of the U.S. right now. I don't think. So uh, really, service, limited, the streaming services. Yeah, I don't think it is. I think they're gonna put Titans on like Netflix outside of America or something. But it's still, it's like, it's ten dollars a month or whatever it is. Yeah, I think something like that for a couple shows. Uh, that's the only one right now. It's the only original. And they don't even have all the movies. They don't have, like, any of the new ones because the rights are already streaming, like, on HBO or somewhere like that. Yeah, I think they're all on HBO. For a while, every single Batman was on HBO. Yeah. And Batman. it was amazing. I think Man of, Man of Steel's not there. Man of Steel's on HBO. So is, is Justice League, yeah. Oh. Um, yeah, they have a ton of DC stuff on HBO. I don't think HBO. the Nolan Batman movies are on there either. Like, the no. best DC stuff ever made. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you can get the Nolan Batman. I don't think you can stream them anywhere. Not oh, actually, Netflix enough. has Batman Begins. Batman Begins, yeah. And do they have the Dark Knight? It was there for a while. I don't, the still, I don't know if it's there anymore. Uh, uh, but yeah, that's the greatest fucking. That's the greatest superhero movie of all time. Dark Knight. And I've, yeah, I've said it a million times. It's because it's not a superhero movie. Yeah, it's, it's a crime it's a, drama. Yeah, it's a crime Batman. thriller. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it's a. That's why I don't know that you just movie. kind of proved yourself wrong. Though. I don't think it is the best superhero movie of all time. I think it's just an amazing film. Well, it's the best movie with a superhero in it. <laughs> I, I don't agree with that, I don't think. But. What do you think it is? Mm. Iron Man 1? Oh, just like it has to be like a singular superhero film? No, not necessarily. Are you going to say Justice League? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say BVS, obviously. Oh, uh, God. Shout out to our friend. Ryland, who loves BBS. Oh, geez. and hopefully will be a guest on the show at some point. I think he might be on next week. Oh, okay. We'll yeah, I think we're gonna be talking about Killer Be Killed Volume One because he's never read it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little sizzle for next week. Yeah, Ryland, if you're listening to this, uh, get ready. If you're not prepared, uh, you better be. Yeah, you just told all of our listeners who are in this room. <laughs> all of the listeners, there is currently none. Yeah. Well, uh, I was so Middle West. This is man. This is gonna be hard to listen. Um. What is this podcast? Yeah, I think it'll be fun. It's so tangential. Well, that's kind of that's kind of the point of the show. We have a we have a loose format that mm. doesn't matter. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's I mean, hence the title. Not that it matters. That's true. That's true. You're right. But that go on, matters. Middle West. Middle West. Scotty um, Young. 
Jorge Corona on art. And also um, Jean-Francois Bellu and Nate Picos. Um, I'd say the I'd say story-wise, the cliffhanger is real good, but I think the strongest part of this is the art so far. I think the story is really strong. I don't. I can see why you might. It, it might seem a little like. I don't know. For story, maybe. for story, I, I also know. like. I also like more context. Like I like to. Like kind of how like Death or Glory, like that first issue was really good. Yeah. But like the first like five, the story kind of peters out. You mean you want more context in what way though? Because I mean in this, you like know. like before I can say that like I really I do really like like the intro and the characters. Yeah. But before I'm like. Oh, this is like a really good comic. I want to read like like three or four. Of them. Oh, that's totally. I totally agree. Yeah. I would never. I. That's what I'm saying. Like the artwork for me right now is the strongest part because the artwork is amazing. The artwork is incredible. Yeah, it's really. And good. it's enough for me that even if the story wasn't, even if the story didn't hook me at all, I would probably keep reading it just, just for a few issues. Yeah, just the artwork so, is so good. Yeah, but the I think the story is it's very relatable, especially for people like us who grew up in the Midwest. Yeah, like well, he's, neither of us grew up in a trailer park though. We know people who did, or we were very, we're not far from them at all. Yeah. The idea of like living in them, and he doesn't make it like, you know, like it's not this like shitty, shitty life, like because he's in a trailer park or anything like that, which I feel like a lot of things. It's a shitty, shitty life because of everything else that's happened to him. Well, his mom left and his dad is like abusive and angry. Dude, his dad's super abusive. Yeah. At the end, his dad goes, Your mom didn't leave me. She left you. you. Yeah, yeah. And the kid's like, 11 or 12. <laughs> yeah, he... Because for most of the Actually, no, he's probably like 13. 14. Yeah, I think 13. That doesn't fucking matter. Yeah, he's somewhere in there. He's like a tween. Teen, yeah. A, a tween? He's a tween, yeah. He's yeah. a prostitute. <laughs> so I called the little annoying kids when I worked at Old Navy. I would come in there and wreck the store. And like I thought you meant little kids store. that you pay to have sex with. A <laughs> prostitute. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that was so fucked up. No. That's what prostitute. When I worked at Old Navy it, in, in the... In a, in a mall, these little fuckers would come in there and like fucking dump shit off the tables and then like hide in corners and make out with each other. And they were like 13. Oh, Jesus. It was just the fucking worst. And they thought they were so cool. I'm filling up. I, <laughs> yeah, Alex <laughs> is just completely erect. Yeah. He is turgid. This is not a microphone in my hand. <laughs> this is an erect <laughs> penis that you somehow detached to me yeah, to your mouth. It's weird that it's black, but. It, it, well, I mean, it's weird that you've got a neck with your face. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, like, and I literally would just walk back there and be like, get the fuck out of my store, you little shitheads. Like, go make out somewhere else. Like, it's not... Also, just so you know, he's probably making out with all of your other friends, too. Yeah. You're going to go through, like, 12 boyfriends before you find anyone that's remotely worth talking to. Yeah. So, yeah, this is the best moment of your life. You're 13. <laughs> I also want to take this time to thank our sponsor, Old Navy. <laughs> yeah, Old Navy. Come fun, come yeah. all. I don't know what their current slogan come is. Come fun, come all. That's what it was for the longest time. Come re- fun, come all, yeah. That's a terrible slogan. I think, and they wonder why little kids were trying to fuck there. Well, I think it's because I they're think, like, we can all come here. Yeah, I think the little kids also. I don't know if I should make that. Joke. <laughs> Do it. I was gonna say I feel like the little kids probably also felt safe because they knew little kids also made those clothes. <laughs> <laughs> but, there you go. Yeah, because we got. Fun. I I I did completely detest that. I just want to say I'm not like encouraging it. <laughs> wow, Nick with a hard. Hard hitting journalism. Look, I he does not say, like slave la- or child labor. Unpopular opinion: uh, child labor is bad. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I'll say it. I'm not afraid. Um, Another unpopular opinion: global warming, guys. Also, not good. Not a fan. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be the first to say child it. soldiers. Yeah, a boo. <laughs> oh, dude, get them out of here. Jeez. I feel like people are going to hate this podcast if they hear us saying such unpopular things. Yeah, I know. I'll be the first to finally say it. Just let kids be kids. You know what's another unpopular opinion? Tricks are for kids. Spam doesn't taste good. Is that the one in can? Yeah. I have a friend named Spam. It's not a real name, but that's what I call her. Spam I am. Yeah. Sam, you are. Okay, yeah. Middle, West. Middle West. Yeah, we got because we, we want to talk about other stuff, so let's not get too yeah. off this. I think it's... We've been talking for like 50 minutes. Okay, that's not yeah, bad. Yeah, we got some time. Uh, we got what, hour 10 left? I'd say they'd listen to the four. <laughs> It's just a very long podcast. The first podcast is just a fucking marathon. The first one was. It was like two hours, right? Yeah, it was two hours. Yeah. That's uh, not bad, though. No. I'm thinking like an hour and a half. I mean, around for each really episode. rambling, I feel like it's the last one was. Dude, the last one was a clusterfuck of yeah. random ideas. Yeah, but this one's not true. Yeah, yeah, we talked emo punk music. 
a dumb argument that we have about microbiglia. Oh, do you want to talk about it No. Why? I've already conceded. Oh, no, I meant the email from music. Oh, that's going to get brought up. All the time. Ad nauseum. We both listen to it, so it's... Do you think other people listen to it? I just want to... Yes, ask they that do. Question. Still? I have friends that that's all they listen to. I, yeah. My buddy, my buddy Matt, literally the only thing he listens to is music from middle school and, like, early high school. And it's all, like, Good Charlotte, yeah. Simple Plan, like, all that, all that shit. That's all I listen to. I remember things great. Like, my parents, I'm like, they don't ever listen to new stuff. They're not, like, that old. I'm never going to be like that. And now all I listen to is shit. That was, like, part of, like, the formation of who I am. Yeah. I listen I, to some new stuff. Still. I listen to a lot of new stuff still. Yeah, I mean, I, a lot of what, like, the, like, most of what I listen to is either, like, but it's still, I shouldn't say that. Most of what I listen to is that, with a lot of new stuff, like, sprinkled into it. Yeah. But that is, like, the only constant. Because the new stuff kind of traverses all over the place. Yeah. But because even the new stuff I listen to is. Well, it's also, new. the thing about that is that since it's music from so long ago, like, you pick and choose, like, all your favorite songs. Now, mm-hmm. like, in, like you have to kind of weed through all the shit music that you don't like now. Yeah. To find the good songs that will stick around. And we've talked about this before, but the art of the album is, like, not a thing anymore. No. There were no. good albums that I could listen to, like, every single song, know every single word, and there's a ton of them. Jet, Get Born. Every that word. whole fucking album oh, is great. You know, for me, Seosin, like, yeah. the original, like, the self-titled Seosin Voices. Album. Oh, no. Voices is on that album. It's all, yeah, You're yeah. Not Alone. That's the other big one from that one. But there's so many of those albums that I can, I know every single word. Yeah. Like, I can, like, From Under the Cork Tree. Oh, that's a great one. Uh, by the way, oh, boy. Middle West. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we should talk about that. <laughs> Another five-minute tangent should on music. music again? <laughs> old music. Uh, yeah, Middle West, yeah. Jorge Corona on art. On art? Scott yeah. Young, yeah. writer. Yeah. Um, but let's just say, let's, from a basic point of view, I feel like it's very relatable. Yeah, it gets, it gets uh, like, shithead middle school kid dialogue really well. Really well. And that one friend who's like, let's fucking steal shit. <laughs> and you're like, no. And they're like, yeah. Dude, everybody had that friend that yes. was just a straight up criminal you know, when they really were 13. Funny, though, it's when you get to our age, suddenly every single person had that friend, but nobody was that friend. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Well, that's because they're all like doing heroin now. I think literally, <laughs> literally, I'm not even kidding. Literally, the kids I that were like, like that in my friend groups, they like have a kid and they're like on heroin or some shit. Well, it's either that or they were the ones who went like way the other way. And yeah, like, yeah, really yeah. religious now and like really. Or maybe not religious, but like they have like a nice job. Yeah, oh, yeah, <laughs> that too. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, they have a nice yeah. job and they're like really responsible. real normal. It's probably because they had, like, the toughest consequences from stuff that they did. Yeah. But, yeah, it's because you have, like, this character is, he's, like, getting his first job, and he's dealing with problems with his parents, which his are much more extreme. But everybody had problems with their parents when they were younger. Like, there's always that time where you're like, fuck you, I know I'm better than you, like, you don't know shit, yeah. I'm 13, I'm <laughs> so smart, <laughs> you guys don't know anything. Well, it's always funny, because, like, you say that, like, every, like, younger generation, or, like, when we were that age, sure. everybody says that to their parents, like, yeah. you tell their parents to fuck off, oh, or 100%. call them a bitch, or yep. whatever it is. Or, or just and that, it like, ends I up know. being I know, but it ends up being, like, 12 years later, like, when they're older, like, they yeah. kind of are smarter than their parents. Well, maybe not. It, socially, maybe. As, as far as like 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 dude, I think like straight up like in te- like we have so much knowledge now. Maybe it's also only that way because we grew up like at like the dawn of the internet. That's true. I think, but I think the one thing that our parents had then, and we will have as parents and things, is wisdom that you can't have without years of life. Oh yeah. So that's the thing. That's because you were like, like I I know a lot of shit about, like I know a lot of information about random stuff. Yeah. But if you told me to file my own taxes. That would take me like a month. <laughs> yeah, because you. I was just trying to figure it out. Actually, I like how you would probably be sitting there, and if you look at a tax form, it sh- like step by step does the math for you. Like if you just keep adding. Oh, for real? Step, well, you sort of, but I feel like you would be sitting there just like carry the two. No, I'm no. good at math. I'm okay at math. No, no, no. I feel like you wouldn't know what to put on what line. Oh yeah. And you would just be like, I. You're like just making up numbers. You're like, because it'd be like, how much money did you make? You're like, Fuck, I don't know. Let's Did I like forty? Billion. I have like 50 bucks in my bank account right now. <laughs> well, that's a little private. I'm a bad money manager. Do you want to also really fast read out your credit card information? Yeah, it's uh, 417. There it is. That's only three numbers. I know. <laughs> Just four. That's my security code. Yeah. That's how you, you get the right. rest. Good for you. Yeah. 417 is the security code. Uh, the expiration date is 892. <laughs> 892. Yeah. It expired. 21. 
26 years ago. No, 2192. Oh, at least 892. It's, it's August of 1992. 180 years away. <laughs> this card's good for a while. Yeah. It's beat up, but it's good. Um, I mean, what else am I going to pass on my kids? It's a crippling credit card debt for the next oh, one. Master of student debt. Oh, you won't have any of that. No, I won't. Uh, uh, I'm also supposed to graduate in two weeks, and I yeah. have not paid my tuition. How's that going to I'm sure you oh, you're fine. But, yeah. Um, what are you going to do? Fucking withhold my diploma? Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> um, but no, I, I remember, like, if you went back in time, like, I remember the first, like, real serious girlfriend I had. Like, I was probably, like, 15 or 16 when we dated. And I remember thinking, like, telling my I told my mom, I was like, I'm in love with her. I think we'll probably get married. And my mom was like, just laughed. And was like, you're so stupid. <laughs> you're such a fucking idiot. Yeah, she was just like, there's literally, the likelihood of you guys getting married is so slim. And she's like, I feel like you're just like, she also at the time was like, you guys aren't like really, like you think you're so great, but you always seem to be fighting. And you're, yeah. you're also Dude, that like first hormonal 16 year old. That first like high school love is yeah. intense. Yeah. And we'll talk about that more with like the dating thing probably. I would yeah. Say. But well, let's get back to this fucking comedy. No, no, but I was going to say it's the wisdom that parents have that you don't have at that age. And this kid is kind of that way. Yeah. He no wisdom, but he thinks he's hot shit. He knows everything. Well, or, or that like, cause like he's kind of like, like he's got a paper route and he loses all the papers and like a fox tells him not to keep going, which yeah. the fox is obviously like a metaphor for like his conscience sort of. But yeah, the, a little bit. But the, I thought it was a real talking about. It might be, but it's it also it still might be like a metaphor. Cool. Yeah. But um, the I think let's he has just, that vibe of like I will. He's like, yeah, I'll just not do it. I'll, I'll be fine. Who who cares? Yeah. But people who would care. If you, like, didn't deliver, you know, like, if you didn't do your job. Yeah, he also does, like, uh, a thing that I kind of do a little bit, where it's, like, uh, he's, like, I've been doing this job for four years, and this is only the second time that I fucked up. Like, give me a break. Yeah. Like, I feel like that's a lot of people, where you're, like... Well, especially our generation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Get, like, he's, he's clearly growing up when we grew up. This isn't now. Yeah. He also wants to, like, just do his own fucking thing. How many times have I said fuck on this podcast? It feels like know. a lot. I've definitely said yeah, feels like I've dropped like thirty in the last like ten minutes. I mean, you watch those C bombs though, I'm not mess around. Yeah, I haven't dropped one yet. No, you haven't, which I'm shocked. I'm being real nice about it. You are, <laughs> but I know people. I know <laughs> I'll drop it around friends uh, yeah. and family. <laughs> yeah. I'll drop it around friends, but mostly family. Yeah, I, I'll say it around my grandparents at the uh, <laughs> Christmas table, at their funeral, the Christmas table, <laughs> the, the Christmas. dinner table. This is we don't have the, a the dinner table. Tree. We have a Christmas table. Yeah, I come from a, a long line of uh, very old money. Yeah, you do. We have a specific Christmas table. <laughs> you live in West Egg. <laughs> it's in the West Wing of the house. Yeah, the West Wing is our Christmas uh, area. Um, but I think with this comic, you you get a really good perspective of childhood that's not like over fantasized. No. In the well, at the same time, obviously being extremely fantasized because he's. What we were saying about that wisdom is, you know, for most of the comic, the dad is, like, a dick, but he's not, like, abusive until the end, really. I mean, he's certainly abusive in the very beginning. He's He goes, you slept in your alarm, and he grabs his alarm clock, and he throws it against the wall. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, like, smashes no, it against, like, a picture I, of his I mean, family. like, he's, like, a shitty dude, but he's not, like, he's not, like, beating him or anything like that, really. Yeah. He grabs him by the shirt, but, I mean, like, it's not I mean, cool to I do. I mean, they live in a trailer. Yeah. I mean, just going off of assumptions, he's probably an alcoholic. He seems that way. Yeah. Actually, there's no indication of that, though. Now that I think about it. You've never there's seen There's none. That's what I'm saying. Like, just just assuming. I know. Unfortunately. But, like, also probably intentional. Like, Trailer you know. park, a little abusive. Probably drinks And then lot. very abusive. Yeah. And <laughs> But he has that showdown with his dad, like, we, where you have, where he goes, he says, fuck you. Yeah. And, and he every just keeps kid, repeating it. Because and, until that point, you're kind of thinking, oh, the dad's like... He's not wrong. Like, you can't just not do your job and shit like that. He's being an asshole. Yeah. So for when he's like, fuck you, you're like, oh. So you're partially on the dad's side. I'm 100% on the kid's side. No, I am on the kid's side. I'm saying, like, the, the, the part I'm trying to give like, the dad the benefit of the doubt. No, I'm saying, like, the benefit of the doubt. I'm saying, yeah, he's acting like a normal kid. Where you yeah, think yeah. you know better than your parents. Yeah. And then, obviously, the dad takes it to a place where it shouldn't go. We won't spoil it, because so, you should read this issue. It's really good. It's a great yeah. jumping on point if you're trying to start reading comics. This would be a, probably a really good comic for you to start with, especially to see that they're not all capes and tights. In fact, no. The best but, ones usually aren't. Yeah. The best ones definitely aren't, in my opinion. There are some incredible ones that are, but most of the time, I would say... I like cape and cape and tight adjacent. That's like why I yeah. love Black Hammer so much. Like the dead, like dead Hand. Dead Hand, Because yeah. in the past, those guys are wearing like costumes. Like they're sort of, you know, like they're like these secret yeah, uniforms and like capes well. and tights, but they're not like... How good is Dead Hand getting? It's over. 
It's only six issues. It's only six issues? Yeah. Oh shit. So I've only, I've only read two, so I gotta I gotta pick up the other ones. Yeah. Like what else do you what else what other non capes and tights stuff do you like? Uh I mean I've already mentioned it. Killer be killed, uh is really good. Nick's going to the bathroom and he's also not setting up the, great segment. that he's going to the bathroom at all. I gave it to you. <laughs> yeah. Uh other good like non capes and cape and tight stuff. Uh analog by image is also really good right now. Uh basically that one is a uh uh, in the digital age, all information is known by everyone in the world. So everybody moves to analog information to uh, get some semblance of privacy. Uh, that one's really good by image. Uh, another really good one right now uh, is Immortal Hulk that I mentioned earlier. Uh, that is going to be from Marvel, obviously. And that one is like a horror comic. So it's like, what if the Hulk was like a real fucking bad guy and was just hunting down and killing criminals. Uh, so that one's really good. Other than that, I haven't really been reading much. Nick just gave me a ton of comics to catch up on. So uh, I'm reading Green Lantern and Rebirth right now. Uh, I also have uh, Sex Criminals that I need to start reading, uh, as well as uh, Why the Last Man. Uh, I have the compendium of that that I need to get on to. I was just talking, so I talked about analog. And oh, then yeah. I talk about how I need to read uh, that Why the Last Man compendium that I have. Oh, yeah. It's really good. You have the first, what, like 13 or something like that? No, I think it's, I think it's all of it. It's, all, it's a giant hardcover. Oh, 50 issues? Yeah, it's a giant book. Oh, shit. Okay, well, yeah, you probably do have all of it. Yeah, it's a, it's a like that thick. It's a big... That's I'm, I'm, I'm holding up my hands like... 50 would be like this. For real? Yeah. What? Oh, it might be the first. Then it might be like three trades. It might be like 15 issues. Okay, that's why. <laughs> that's what I said. You know what's funny? What? I have to pee again. Oh, boy. Did I start you it off? You can't keep doing this. Is, this is not good for the podcast. Keep peeing and like have, having somebody just ramble. <laughs> it's really, that's why they we can, do it. We can cut out the rambles. We probably will. Okay. Yeah, yeah we'll cut out the rambles. Because it is going to get obnoxious. It is. Because I have literally the world's smallest bladder. You do. It also doesn't help. I have three drinks in front of me right now. Yeah, and you're just powering through all of them. Yeah. Mow them down. I've already killed two of them. I had a, uh, I have full water, I had a coffee, mm. and then like a real fancy boy, I was drinking a like, kombucha in a wine glass. <laughs> Such a strange thing. I was being like, like I, I drink Gatorade out of a tumbler. <laughs> <laughs> I drink Gatorade with a rocks glass on ice. I was going to say, just like whiskey stones in there and just drink Gatorade. <laughs> Don't want to water it down. <laughs> <laughs> Too quality. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I'm going to pee. Uh, Let's talk. We'll take a quick break. Gonna, no, leave yeah, you'll you'll see it. You'll see the edit point. <laughs> when you won't. This is an interesting. I the, ch- the chive retweeted what the fuck what the fuck facts and it's staring at breasts daily can extend a man's life by five years. That's nice. Does it have to be in person? No. Well, we should ask. So let's uh and we're back. Let's see. Let's, <laughs> uh, let's wrap up this Middle West conversation. And yeah. Wanda. We're gonna talk about after this. I so out of ten. Uh, out of ten for first as issue. As number one, yeah. As a number one. So we can grade it on. Uh, I'll give it an eight. I'd give it a. I'd probably give it a nine. Give it I think a nine. The art is so good, and I think the story is something that I'm really interested to see where it goes. Okay. Does a good job of like wrapping up when you're that small and you think your problems are so big. You know. Yeah. I think that's something very, very relatable. Yeah, and let's just say that the big problems are visualized. 
I think it's really effectively too. Yeah, very so, effectively. I think this also has the possibility. This has this feels like one of those comics that has a possibility of being incredible, but yeah. also being it could, it could go fizzle. Yeah, yeah. could fizzle story, after like six. Yeah, because the story is so is so relatable to the second it feels off. You're gonna be like, no, that's yeah. not what it would be. You know what yeah. I mean? Like I I feel like that's where a lot of those like some of those even like YA shows you can watch or like you know like like even like CW shows or something like that where they show we talked about this coming of age movies where they show your youth and it's such a specific thing that people have such serious nostalgia for. And they a lot of times go through life thinking that was the best time of my life that when you get it wrong, it, it just, it's, it's offensive. It, it really is. Even like, if it's slightly off, you're like, that's not how life is. Yeah. And movies get it wrong a lot to make things dramatic. But, but it's like, there's no way there's no 13 year olds that talk like that. No. Or even if you're like 20, you know, they yeah. show like 20 year olds acting a certain way and you're like, no fucking 20 year old is going to do that. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. no, no, like, for example, no conversation, this is the worst one, this is like the biggest, most offensive one, is when, you know, they'll be in like an argument and they're like, I loved you and I would have done anything for you. And then they get up and walk away and the person just leaves it there. Like, they, they're just like, they watch them walk and like, no. Yeah, it would just be a... You go, you'd be like, no, like, I'm not done talking to you. Yeah, like, it'd be like a, a real intense fight, too. Yeah, and they wouldn't walk away. Nobody does that. Nobody just leaves on like a mic drop type statement. <laughs> That's never, I've never had that. Yeah. Just move the story along in a movie, but yeah, in, in real life, it's well, like, it's, no, there's way more nuance to a conversation. Yep, it sets them up for that really like like stereotypical like personal growth time where they get like they're they get like by to, themselves and they what? I was gonna say like when they get back together at the end. Well, eventually, yeah, but they you know like so like the main character whoever that is is like you I loved you and we're done. And they leave and they don't go after them and then they have like time alone and they like grow personally. Yeah, and then they come back and they're ready to get back together. Yeah. But, because they're different people, man. Really, what would, yeah, what would happen is they'd be like, I do love you, and I do want to be together. And they'd be like, oh, well, let's work on it. And they'd be like, okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's all that would, like, I always joke it's about. It's such a big, it's such a, like, a minor change. It's like, like one, in terms of writing, but it's such a different feel for the whole movie. It is. Well, it's such a, it's like such a, like, dramatic thing that it's done so often. And it's so unrealistic that people watch it. I feel like every time I watch that, I'm like, nah, no thanks. Cool. I always, we always, we, I probably more than you do, but we both really like a podcast called The Weekly Planet. Yeah. And one of the guys on there, Nick Mason, always references that he hates watching scenes in movies that could have been solved by writing something long enough that it could fit on a post-it note. <laughs> Especially because you know, like you write on a post-it note, it's usually a couple words. So if that could solve the situation in the movie, it's just terrible. Yeah. Like if that's all you would have to do, just a tiny little fix and it would solve everything. Like you'd write on a post-it note very easily, very large and legibly, I do still love you. If you yeah. pass that to that person, they'd be like, oh, that solves my problem. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? It's the same with like... It's lazy like, writing. Yeah, because he, he brings up the point, he's like, go through a lot of movies that you like and look at the big moments in those films. And he's like, a lot of them could be solved by you writing like, I don't want to fight you, Bruce. On yeah. a post it note. No, Superman, I, I don't want to fight you either. Like, all you have to put is, I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight you. Yeah. He's got my mom. <laughs> he's got my mom. Also, he's not watching us. He's timing us, but there's no way that he would have any idea what's happening. <laughs> we could just go kill him. <laughs> Even yeah. if you drop my girlfriend off a building, I'm the fastest, most powerful thing that's ever existed. <laughs> I think I'll probably get it. <laughs> I think I'll be fine. Yeah. But no, they have to contrive ways in those films for that not to happen. Like, oh, I don't know. Them saying something really dramatic and just walking away and not being followed. <laughs> yeah. Let's say, let's say, you walk were, away and scene. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> let's say you're in a fight with your girlfriend. Drama. You live with. And this kind of stuff happens in films where she's like, I want you to be like, blah, blah, blah. I need you to do this, but you never do it. And then she just walks off and slams the door and you just sit there and look like melancholy. <laughs> and it's like the next scene is like them moving out. <laughs> yeah. Or the, yeah. Next, the next scene is you like cheating or something yeah. like that. Terrible. It's like, but really. No, it There's was just so be, many more steps that were missed. And probably none of that would happen because yeah. you would just go, I will do that. And she'd be like, oh, okay. Yeah. Or you'd be like, no, this is why I think this. And she'd be like, oh, it's a discussion. It's yeah. not, it's not it's, a one sided Because it's always like, it's always set up where it's like a great couple, too. Mm -hmm. It's like a really good couple and then they have like one big fight and then everything's over. It just implodes. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, like, that's not how that would work at all. Like, I've been dating this same girl for three and a half years. We've had some fucking knockdown drag out fights. Wow. Like bad ones. She beat the shit out of you, I mean, <laughs> Yeah, of yeah. course. Uh no, but we've had like big fights. I'm sure, yeah. And like I've like walked away, but it's mm -hmm. like 
it's like 10 minutes later, I come back. I'm like, okay, fuck it. Yeah, or you have those. I like, was being emotional or I was going, I'm going through other shit that yeah. I'm putting on you that's not on you at all. Or you do those, like, we break up for like a day. It's like not real. No, we never even did that. No, I'm saying like when you're younger, especially. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going slow off of like the less. Yeah. Okay. But like, like, you know, like they show young people. Like, you, like, I've gone through, I've had those where like, like, well, fine, let's break up then. Clearly nobody wanted to break up in no. the relationship, but you're just like trying to have like, the upper hand. Yeah, I'm. A, I'm. A fuck- you realize you don't care. Yeah, I'm a fucking drama queen too. You are. Yeah. So, uh, like, we have had fights before. Where we're like both just hammered, like yeah. out to the bar till like three in the morning, and have like a really dumb fight because we're both drunk. Like, mm-hmm. whenever I get drunk, and like, there's a point that I'm like, no, I'm right. I'll fucking hammer that home. So, I've seen you. It's like the point of exhaustion, and. uh Oh my god, we talked about fucking LeBron James playing tight end in the NFL. Do you remember that? No. Are you that drunk? Dude, I'm sorry. Yes, I have a problem. That's we why I stopped, that's why I stopped drinking. And it was just... Uh, that's also going to be other updates on this podcast. Is how well you're doing? How Same well I'm doing, not drinking. I'm reading uh, Alan Carr's Quit Drinking Without Willpower, mm. which is like, other than AA, like the biggest <laughs> quit drinking thing. Uh, because yeah, I'm a big old drinker. Uh, yeah. I think last time we drank together, I think we counted it out. I had like 13 drinks in a day or in a night. When we drank together? Yeah. Oh, because you drank before. Yeah, I had, I had two beers before the first podcast, and then we drank two beers. No, we that, drank like four beers before we left. Okay, yeah, so that's like six. No, we drank no because we drank a beer before, like to start with, yeah. two beers during the podcast, two after, and then everything we had at the bar. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that was a real wake-up call. And that was what, like six drinks and... A tequila shot? Yeah. Yeah, it was brutal. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, uh, so, yeah, that'll be that'll be an update of me not drinking. Yeah. Uh, I'm currently on, like, four days, which is the yeah. longest I've done in a while. With no drinks? With uh, not, well, a, not, a, not a sip. And we're drinking after this, right? Uh, no, we're not. <laughs> I really – I have no desire to drink. Good. That's I'm, like, I'm really doing. just, like, a fucking multiple-month cleanse. That's probably good for yeah, when yeah. we do, uh, we're going on a big road trip in like a month that I think would be fun to bring this podcast on the road with us, to bring all this stuff and uh, yeah. each city that we're in to yeah, a different podcast. Like one long thing, do like a few little like hits. And then yeah. Like a longer thing. Yeah. Oh, you're not going to drink podcast. on our vacation? No, see, that's what I was saying. I'll probably drink a little bit, but I feel like I'll be so, because I already like don't want to drink. So I yeah. feel like I'll, it'll be like, like two or three cocktail nights. Okay. And I like that'll be it. So no, no, nothing crazy. Huh? Well, I also want to, I don't want to spend an insane amount of money. That would be the way not to. Yeah. I mean, we're going to, we're going to Denver. Uh, so we're, we live in St. Louis. Yes. We're going from St. Louis to Denver, to Vegas, to LA, yeah. to Albuquerque, to Austin. Yes. To St. Louis. To St. Louis. Back home. Yeah. And but so that's going to be like a two week long trip. Yeah. Two weeks. Yeah. And <laughs> if, if I'm drinking, like I drink. Or like I like if I go back to the way I was drinking, you that's like a thousand dollars on booze. Just booze. Yeah, I mean, we're, and we're gonna try and bring as much as we can, so that way we don't have to get drinks where we go. Yeah. So I don't think you that, know what we should talk more about our itinerary and <laughs> what we're doing for our road trip. You fucking <laughs> idiot. Yeah. yeah. That's that's I, a great idea. I'll probably bring. I mean, more or less, probably ten pairs of underwear. Uh, okay. A couple pairs of pants. Oh, here's some shorts. Do you need me to go? Are you asking me to like help you pick these things? Is yeah, this yeah, like, yeah. Is this like a discussion? Yeah, it's actually we're not drinking anymore after the podcast. What we are doing though is I'm giving a fashion show to Nick. That's true. It's gonna be very hot. Uh, we're also gonna order a pizza. I'm very hungry. Oh, we're not ordering pizza. Why is that? I <laughs> I had tomato soup already. I don't care. I don't care. I had tomato soup do. before you came over. For an hour. Uh, yeah, we can make some food. Once again. This is so irrelevant to anything we've talked about. I literally don't care if we're I just want to see how far off I can get you on a tangent. So we started talking about tomato soup. I know. Uh, it's so easy. All right. What else do we want to talk about? Okay. So the other thing we talked, we, we thought we would talk about, and usually I feel like we'll do this in the opposite order, but we just wanted to discuss like something that's like more of a, I don't know, topic in our lives. So for me right now, as a single man. Oh, Dating. Dating. Okay. Um, I got out of a very long relationship probably over a year ago at this point. Yeah, it was like last November, right? Somewhere in there. In yeah. December, maybe. Or maybe. So it's probably like exactly, exactly a year ago, ago about this time. And since then, I've not really 
wanted to date until probably recently. Yeah. Wait, so that ended like last December. How was last Christmas? Was that fun? Was that a good time? It was a great time. <laughs> yeah, it was just a blast. Yeah, just all alone. Yeah, <laughs> it was a good time. I really like the way you're framing it, too. <laughs> just all alone? Nobody to love you? Yeah. Yeah, it was, you know, I was, I was, <laughs> I think that was, that was the best part about Christmas. <laughs> it's just being alone. Yeah. That's the one thing that everybody loves about Christmas is the isolation. <laughs> God, nothing makes you feel lonelier than Christmas. Yeah. Being like, oh, actually, it's true, though, because when you go from being in a relationship and then you're like with your family, like on Christmas. Just alone. Like, well, but everybody also like knows that you were through a breakup. So they just like want to be like really there for you. Oh, my favorite is like when they ask, they're like, oh, what happened to yeah, that? Yeah. And you have to answer that question like 30 times. Or, and, and like, oh you, boy. I, also, you, I feel like you start to whittle it down to the least amount of words and you're like, not here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's, which is what I said. I, you I said she's afterwards. not here? I literally just said that because they're oh, like, that's great. where's she at? And I was like, she's not here. And they're like, are you guys still together? And I was like, no. I was like, oh, that's good. Four words. Yeah. Got there everything I needed accomplished. Because when you say it that, like, when you're like that short about it, people are like, okay, I'm not going to keep talking. Yeah, and you move. Yeah, on. the second like you give like a little bit yeah. of information, like, then they want to know about that piece of information. Yeah, and you're like, let's just move on to something service level. Like, yeah, let's just talk about something that like politics in the Middle East. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was gonna say. I know you were. That's the best one. Let's talk about religion. Yeah, uh, easy. Um, what do you guys think? God? No God? So what about death? Lights out? I think I want to say. Um, okay, wait. God? No. Okay, so God? No God? Death? Lights out? I'm gonna say. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Uh oh. Speaking of dating, my girlfriend's here. Oh, hello. She just walked in. How's it going? Hi, Brandy. Hi. Hi, Brandy. How's it going? Good. She said good. She said good. She's coming in all bundled up with a lunch pail. Not that it matters. Not that it matters. Well played. Oh, that's the podcast name. Oh my god. She did. You know that your boyfriend has just like nothing going on in his skull. Uh, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) I think I, I think I drank myself retarded. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm still recovering from that tequila. Yeah. Shot. So whose idea was that? I don't know. That was a terrible idea. Yeah. Not the best. But the best result, especially that morning. <laughs> it was definitely. Yeah, it was a rough morning. It was really just yeah. a rough morning. Yeah. All right. Back to dating. <laughs> yep. Back to dating. Uh, but now it's like, I feel like I... The game has changed so much since I started that last relationship because I hadn't really put much effort in before that. Yeah. When well, I now it's all online dating for three years. And... Yeah. Now that I'm like finally like, oh, maybe I would. It's what apps you want? Like Plenty of Fish, Bumble, Grindr. Farmers Only. <laughs> Farmers Only. Yeah. Christian well, Mingle. I think there's a Trump one. You want J Date? There's a Trump J-date? one. J Date. J Date. It's for uh, Jews. Oh, cool. It's only Jewish dating. No, I'm not on there. Uh, not yet. <laughs> not um, yet. Yeah. You should be on. What's it called? From MAGA with Love? What? From MAGA with Love. Oh, from MAGA with Love. <laughs> yeah. Um, Is that for real? There's a there's Trump, Trump, there's there a was, Trump dating there, app? No, you didn't hear about that? No. There's a Trump dating app, and then it got hacked within the first 24 hours. And all the personal information for everybody got, got just completely Of course hacked. it did. It was great. Oh, um, Jesus. No, but that's all it is. It's all like uh, Tinder, Bumble. Oh, yeah. With, yeah, Bumble. Are you getting mashed? Are you gonna match with it all? I don't know. I, I, no, really. because I have t- I don't take any pictures that didn't have any like the, the girl I was dating in them. Do you want to take one after this? <laughs> what? If what? <laughs> we can do a, we can do a picture of you. Wall? Yeah. <laughs> Are you gonna stand in front of my TV? It'd be like, this is this is a TV. <laughs> I like just galore. I like your little acted out. <laughs> oh, you are a podcast. I gesture. They can't fucking see you. Well, I said this is a TV. They know what I'm gesturing at. <laughs> I know, but they couldn't see your. What are they going to point with your, my head? Your Ricky Bobby, you didn't know what to do with your hands. This is a TV. <laughs> I, but it's, yeah, because it's like all of my pictures are like, literally, it's one of them of me just pointing at a statue of Stan Musial. Oh God! One, oh, I know that picture of you. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think. Uh, one of me with four other people. Oh, those are always good. Those big group ones when you can't the, tell. Yeah, I, I put that later on. One where a, a man is kissing me. A man's on the cheek. Oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah, wedding yeah, picture. Yeah, from a wedding picture. Uh, I'm trying to think. I don't know. What, there's another one on there. I can't remember what, what, oh, what does your profile say? Oh, it's something different really ones for, pretentious. Uh, it, no, I'm just on the. I'm just on Bumble now. Just I'm Bumble? Recent, yeah. And it's... What's I, your profile? Let me look at it. Oh, no. Here. <laughs> oh, no. Give it to me. Oh, no. Because you can on. edit it. 
Oh, I'm not going to edit it. I'll tell you. I won't probably. No, I want to. I have to look at it. All right. Because then, then I can talk about it. I just want to read what it says on my about me. Uh, <laughs> when you say it out loud, it sounds so pretentious and stupid. Oh, what is it? Because, you know, most people's about me says, like, please, I need this. Cardinals, blues. Like, this is what I do. This is the school I go to. And, like, I'm. Or something like fun. Douchebags do, yeah. Or something. You mentioned the sports you like? No, I didn't do that. Or somebody puts, like, the. Um, like some quote from the office, like Bears beat Battlestar Galactica, or they yeah. put, or they put like, um, I'll carry your heart with me. I'll carry it in my heart. E. E. Cummings. Uh, like something, so I just put. Uh, I is that of, seriously what dating is like now? Yes. People post that kind yes, of shit. You guys should be glad you're. An E. E. Cummings quote. <laughs> yeah, I love E. E. Cummings as a poet, but I'm not gonna fucking quote him to anyone ever. <laughs> but uh, I like uh, my favorite quote on a Bumble is "It's alive, it's alive, Mary Shelley." <laughs> <laughs> There's some pretty good ones every now and then. Uh, mine just says, I know I'll think of something equal parts humble, profound, and witty to put here eventually. Da, da, da. Uh, that's not too bad. What do you mean that's not too bad? It's awful. Why is that awful? It's just bad. It's my way of saying I'm not putting effort into this. But you're putting effort in a way that is showing that you put effort into it. I'm literally saying I you're saying that you're not putting it here, and I'm not putting it here. What effort did I put? I don't know. Because I use words like profound. Yeah. It's a big word. Or eventually. Oh, dude, that's like multiple syllables. Oh, that's what you always talk about when you talk about any responsibility that you have. I'll do it eventually. <laughs> oh, that cuts deep. <laughs> I'm sorry. That is very real. <laughs> Although we're responsibility. Oh, drink. <laughs> that's the only thing I don't do responsibly. Which is the one thing they tell you to always do responsibly. Yeah. Granted, I just want to say. Who's <clears throat> Grant? Huh? Grant, Grant Ted. Grant did what? His name's Grant Ted. It's oh. Grant Theodore. But, oh, okay. um, I don't think that like the so online dumb. thing is going to go away, which sucks. No, it's not going to go away. But like, I hate to say it, but people like we're like the very end of the generation where like dating wasn't done online, so we don't know how to do it effectively on there very well. I still think the best way to like to get something that like has like some staying power is to actually just meet somebody out. Like meet somebody it's at a bar. So hard to do that now. Like, well, especially it's hard as of the, like the last two years. Yeah, walking up to a girl and saying something to her at a bar is the most dangerous thing you could possibly do. That is very true. Well, especially if you don't have uh, friends that can help you. Oh, and I don't. Yeah, my not... friends are either in a relationship, married, or literally completely inept when they see a woman. <laughs> just can't talk at all. Or no, or they'll they'll talk. Oh, but yeah, what just they say is morons. Just, just unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> so you have to. So then you have to like. Do all the legwork. You have to like, like keep up with the person you're trying to talk to, and then also make sure that their friends are like not like annoyed by the people that you hang out with. Yeah, yeah, that's a real weird thing, like to have friends group friend groups mesh. Yeah, mine kind of works out. Never met, especially when you've never met. Them. Yeah, mine kind of worked out well. Where uh, my friend group, like we all play volleyball, like sand yeah. volleyball, and then my girlfriend, her whole friend group, play sand volleyball, so we all play on the same day. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's way it also helps that. That's how you guys got together? Same no, way. no, like that just like helps like with like the friend. Oh, the friend, friend group's group's meshing. Yeah, that's fair. It also helps that uh like one of her roommates, like her boyfriend was like one of our friends before. Like yeah. it kind of works out that way. Yeah. So then like there's a lot of friends that all kind of are around. Like we all know right. each other. And yeah, because the last one I was in college, we we, we obviously went to different schools and we like didn't really know each other until like far after I was in high school. And so I wasn't really friends with her friends. She wasn't friends with my friends, really. And then we, like, we obviously got along for really well. We dated for three years or whatever yeah. it was. But, like, the, our friends were not similar in any way. So we weren't, like, it wouldn't have ever meshed. You know, yeah. Then. It wouldn't have really worked out. Because then, then, like, every time you, like, you go hang out with her friends, it's, like, a chore. And yeah. Every time she does that with you, it's the same thing. Yeah. It, it, she, because... It's also everybody now is like everybody wants to be like unique in their own person. So everybody wants to have like their own friend group and like only hang out with their friends. Yeah, it's weird that way. Yeah. Like if you look at your life, you have like like you, like I'm sure you think like you have like me and our we have a friend Ethan, people like that. Yeah. And you have other friends, then you probably have other friends from like different times in your life. I don't, oh, I don't hang out with anybody from high school or like before. <laughs> I live, I, live with, I live with somebody from my, that I went to high school with. Yeah. And I literally, I hang out with nobody from high school. Yeah. I only hang out with college friends. Actually, most people I hang out with from high school. Like, yeah. my, the, like probably, like, outside of you, my of my, my closest friends are from high school. Yeah. I hang out with a couple people from the school we go to now and then. Yeah. Uh, all the rest of them are from my last college that I was at. Yeah, and I, I, 
I would actually say the only people I hang out with are from like of our because we're you know we're both I'm 26 he's 25 and we like mine are like those like yours are like all at right after high school mine are like from high school or like from like just now yeah which is strange right? yeah mine's from just after high school like just now yeah I also have a lot of friends that I work with too I work at a comedy club yeah so they're usually all real cool people well my work is either a bunch of shitheads too <laughs> yeah <laughs> I just work with my mom or my roommate oh, it's just so awesome. it's not really yes yeah, it's, it's it's great yeah I mean so that being said the, the thing about dating now for us is like going into a bar that's very hard doing it online especially yeah. if you're not like an online kind of person like we have a lot of pictures and like I, I'm not one of those people who like when I'm at a really cool event where I'm like Oh, let me take myself out for a second of this great thing I'm doing to take a picture of it. Yeah. I'm also not one of those people who's like, you know what? I'm on a couch, and I think everyone needs to know about it. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a weird thing too, like taking pictures. Like I'm in a relationship, so I have a lot of pictures of myself because she makes me take pictures. <laughs> yeah, but on my phone, she's cooler. There's like you. no fucking pictures. Yeah, like my no, last no. pictures are from like a comedy show like two months ago. Yeah, yeah, I realized that like all that were like same of like that have me in them, or most of them are from. Like when we were on a set together. Yeah, yeah, I have a lot in of like March and April. But they're not like good pictures because we did. You don't like dress nice on a set. <laughs> and I look like a slob. Yeah, I remember I told you you looked disheveled and you looked like you like oh, your heart so, had broken. I was so upset. <laughs> you were so. Just, I like to think that I'm somewhat well devastated. put together at times, but yeah. Because you hair, just you had like one strand of hair out of place, and I jokingly said you looked disheveled and you looked like. You well, I have fucking OCD. It like, like, like fucking like, bothered me yeah. real bad. Because oh, I didn't even really look that disheveled. Not at all. Like looking back, it's like no. It's, it looked fine. You had a t- you had like you had like a t-shirt on, so I guess you were dressed down. I was wearing a collared shirt. Was that the same day? Yeah, I was wearing a collared shirt. Oh, I was wearing a t-shirt. Yeah, I was. I was wearing that really dumb weekly pants shirt. Oh no! Oh, was was, that day? oh, I love that shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Man, uh, I don't know what pictures I'm talking about. <laughs> well, we should also say, um, I think you can pretty much figure out uh, from what we've been talking about. We don't really talk about the comics that much that we're discussing, uh, but other podcasts. Uh, that would really yeah. suit your needs if you really were into uh, reading about every single comic book that comes out, every yes. single number one. Yes. Uh, we recommend Serious Issues. Uh, yeah. It's a uh, Planet Broadcasting Network mm-hmm. uh, podcast out of Australia. They're really good. Yes. They cover literally every single comic that comes out every week. Or at the very it's least, good. like, the best ones. From what yeah. I found, their taste is impeccable. Yeah, uh, everything from DC, Marvel, podcast. Image. Dark Horse. Yeah, uh, pretty much every others. major publisher that's doing Valiant. It. I know they do a couple of those. Valiant. They don't do a lot of Oni stuff, but Oni, when it comes out, boom. Um, um, Lion Forge, that one of them? Yeah, no, they do Lion Forge. Yeah. That's a St. Louis based comic yeah. company. Yeah. Um, but then if you, and if you like the sort of like pop culture spawn of comics, like yeah. movies, Com- TV, movies TV, TV. some video games, all kinds of stuff, we recommend the Weekly Planet. Also, Planet Broadcasting Network. Yeah, they are the titular planet of planet broadcasting yeah. um and they're just like two very knowledgeable yeah way less guys. way less tangents yeah way yeah, less yeah. about themselves yeah oh if yeah they're if you want to just know about actually what's going on yeah and they're very funny they're very yeah. knowledgeable but also they're not really serious issues it's not really a funny no i mean they have funny you know, podcast they have fun, but they're not like they're not yeah. it's not a comedy that's podcast. in depth like reviews yeah. of comic books absolutely and it's I mean, they they cover like fifty comics a week. No, yeah, yeah. It's and crazy. Weekly Planet. A lot of what a lot of what makes them great is they sort of, while also knowing a lot, they sort of simplify things on purpose because they know how convoluted everything else is. Yeah. They also know that, I mean, a lot of their audience is people who just like, like the MCU or the DCU. Like they just like the movies. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, they simplify the comics to kind of fit into that. So those are great. Into that whole. And actually, another another one from that group. Probably our favorite of those three is Do Go On. Which oh has yeah. Nothing to do with comics, but uh, we would rec- highly recommend Do Go On. Um, they're just a sort of just like a research based like each one of them does research on a topic. Every three comedians from Australia and each one does research on a topic, and uh, they each one one of them presents every week. And uh, yeah, it's great. Um, back to dating. Um, which we didn't really talk about as much yet, but it's it's funny though because now we're in this point where like I'm in this point now where I like I'm like okay I will, and it's like online really tough. Meeting a girl in a bar maybe tougher now. Yeah, I think I think the uh, 
like what they're looking for. Like you have to have time put in before you even meet in person at a bar. Like you have to have been talking online or I think so. talking somewhere. Yeah. Or you have to really like earnestly bump into somebody and just like start a conversation. Yeah. Not like welcome to like, Hey, just can like, I buy you a drink? Oh, yeah. That's, ooh, that's a dangerous path. But like, yeah, you have to, you have to like, Oh shit. Sorry. Like bump into like literally it has to be like a meet cute from like a movie for yeah. that to work. The only other way these days really is well, there's so many fucking creeps out there. So girls want to, and they're all exposed now. Like we know they're creeps Yeah. and people are like on the look out yeah. for them much more than they were. Yeah. So you have to at least talk online. Yeah. And show them before. like I'm not a weirdo. Yeah. Even I can at least hold online, a, con- I can hold a conversation in text because that's how couples talk a lot of times. True. So the only other, like the only like, I feel like like easy ways, they're not easy. There's no, none of it's hard, easy anymore is to be set up. That can go. Yeah, that can go horribly can wrong. Smooth, usually. Yeah, we tried to set up Nick a couple weeks ago. That is true. And it was brutal. It wasn't great, but well, you did well. I, well, the uh, yeah. the person, <laughs> yeah, Brandy is currently laughing in the other room. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> it, yeah, it was yeah. She was there for the uh the setup, and it did not go well. It did not go well. But and I but I was also set up a couple other times in that same span, like twice, and none of them. Yeah, it was like a week, and you went on like three, four three days. different ones. That I was yeah. They were all bad. Like it was just not, or not even bad necessarily. Like, like just ones where either one I was like, one of them I was like, yeah, we could easily just like be friends, like, but it's not going to be that kind of thing. And the other one I was just like, no. So Nick, you're saying that dating today is hard, harder than it's ever been. Whoa, because the only other okay. way that no, I'm going to get to is work or school, and that's a very school is a lot easier than work, but they're both tough. Work's a weird one. Work's a really weird one. Bye. Where you go? Are you going to the gym? Yeah. Bye. Bye. I wish Alex went there sometimes. I know. Like Worked out fun. yesterday. Shut up. Nick is <laughs> work. Nick is making fun of me because I currently put on a decent chunk of weight. So is Nick. So that's why he's. Yeah. It's, oh well. It's a lot more ironic than it is actually making fun of you. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying. Uh, I'll just say it's it's winter time. That's my excuse. Yeah. Alex is playing the high. Uh, no, I think the real excuse is that I was a real booze bag for a couple months. Booze bag. Yeah. Booze bag. That's what happens when you're a straight up book. alcoholic for. Like eight months. Ago. Really no. Bye. Bye. Okay. This really is not gonna sound good on the podcast. Yeah, but I don't know what there are. We need to record right next to an open door. <laughs> an open door that is ten feet away from a street. So if it, if it was you, like I like, how do you think you meet people? Like if you, what would what would be the way that you think you would do best? Let's say you were single now. How would you meet somebody you think the easiest? Uh, it would have to be worker school for me. I think it has to. Because uh, I do not come off well, like, right on the spot. Like, I have to, like, have, like, like people have to, like, know me for a little bit. Same. To, like, okay, really, like, okay, yeah, appreciate. Yeah. <laughs> they have to know me for a while to really appreciate my genius. Yeah. You're, like, a really <laughs> fine wine in the sense that you, like, taste bad. But, like. I get better with age. No. Is that what you're saying? Oh. <laughs> no. I was going to say, you're, like, a really, really fine wine. That's always no, shit. You're, like, moldy cheese. <laughs> Oh, thank yeah. you. We're like I smell like shit. You smell like shit. You probably eventually taste like. But shit. But I melt in your mouth. Ooh. Yeah. So it's like, oh, okay, he melts in my mouth. I guess I should just make a complete life commitment to him. But you know, now I think like work in school. Even then, it's so uncomfortable because you have to. Because then you have to read a situation without being a creep and being like. Because if you tell a girl like, hey, do you want to go out? And they're like, no. But I that, thought we were just. But being that cool. might close to your mouth. Yeah, you're. You're kind of – you're a little low. Oh, we can fix that in post. Oh, you mean I can fix it in post? <laughs> I mean I could if you – No, I'm time. doing it. Okay. Okay. But you know what I mean? I think you have to like – Just – yeah, just eat that mic. Eat I that think mic. you have to like you, – you, there's no way now. It's such a weird climate for dating that I feel like there. It, I feel like I'm just going to be alone forever and I'm cool. <laughs> I just have to be happy with that. Well, yeah. I feel like everybody's just like – Especially like like the Me Too movement, everybody's just real nervous about everything. Which is, I mean, everybody's just real nervous about everything. That's kind of true. Fucking order, man. I'm telling yeah, you, I'm I just mean, very profound. It's fun to watch happen. <laughs> but I think <laughs> fucking dope. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. But we, I think, and I think like part of that is good. Like you need to be like we need to be conscious of like all that stuff. But I think there's also a part of it where like I literally feel like the way I'm going to meet somebody is going to be both of us like. Having a conversation after months of like being just like sort of like what what's happening? And I feel then like one of us is like, do you no? Oh, do you, but you no, I don't. But do you? Well, I don't want to say. 
I feel like it's going to be more convoluted. Like you guys are going to get in like a car accident. Yes. And then there's going to be like a two month long legal battle. And then (laughs) after that legal battle, she's going to be like, you know what? Yeah. I like how you handle yourself under pressure. (laughs) Our settlement is going to be you dating me. Yeah. (laughs) You have to give this a shot. Yeah. Say yes to us. I need five grand to to fix my tranny. Yeah. Gotta you gotta gotta get a new drivetrain and then date me. Yeah. That's my settlement. That's part of the stipulation. Yeah. Because it's just (laughs) your lawyer comes to you and he's like, okay, I have the results. You're not gonna like it, but I think we gotta settle. You are gonna have to date this woman. Yeah. He's like, Your Honor, I think we've reached a settlement. Uh, (laughs) These two are boyfriend and girlfriend. Yeah. (laughs) And you're the guy's like. Just get the fuck out of my court. <laughs> He's like, this is taking two months of my life. <laughs> yeah, like, why are we doing this? Yeah, I think I just don't, like, it, it's just blowing my mind. Finally, like, looking at dating again and realizing, oh, shit. Yeah. This is a weird place to be. It's so different than it was even just a few years ago. I, I cannot begin to tell you how different I think you have to luck out and just, like, yeah. drunkenly hook up with somebody at a bar and be like, yeah, that was probably nice. Let's talk. Or that's how we started dating. Me and you? <laughs> no. When you say my, we, girl, my girlfriend and myself. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Actually, but we had we've been talking in like 2011. When we just started dating in like 2015. Yeah, you, but you guys like knew each other already, so it wasn't that. Yeah. Weird. So my best friend uh, in high school, she was in the same sorority as Brandy, and so that's just kind of how we met. Mm-hmm. It was just going out to parties in college. See, when you don't know somebody though. I feel like now, yeah, you you have to luck out and like meet somebody at a bar. I guess that feels worse yeah. still. Or it kind of yeah. does have to be like a setup thing, where it's like you just kind of have to like meet somebody in, the, in another friend group. It's so it's just, yeah. Or meet online and like yeah, but you that's have rough. To, you have to have like an, a really effective profile. I've like I've yeah, I've, I've realized that's the it literally like it needs to be like there has to be like a formula where it's like. Okay, your first picture needs to be you in like perfect picture attire, like in a forest, like in a perfect sunlit area. Next picture showing you like having like a fun side. Next picture, like so that, and then like your profile has to be like the perfect bio. Like it shows like what musical artists you listen to, and they have to be the right ones for every person. Yeah, literally, <laughs> like, it's uh, so tough. They were talking about this on my my favorite podcast, uh, Your Mom's House, with oh, Tom yeah. Segura and Christian yeah. Pajitsky. Uh but they were talking to Kyle Dunnigan, who's like a semi-famous comedian. Mm-hmm. And he's like, yeah, I'm on Bumble, Tinder, and I just have no luck. <laughs> yeah, I've had nothing so far. Yeah, he's like a famous comedian. I just saw him at Helium the other day. I did too. I was yeah. there with you. Oh, yeah, you were. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but he was just on your mom's house, and he was like, yeah, I, yeah. Don't, I don't know what's wrong. No, I mean, it doesn't It doesn't, It doesn't. doesn't matter. I think really. you need new picks. I I, that's do. a big thing. Yeah, I think you I need, need that. I think that's a big thing, yeah, because all of mine are either really old or, like, really... Another guy kissing on the face. Yeah. I mean, it's funny, yeah. but, like... The Stan usual thing is dumb. But that's, like, the best, like, actual, like, straight-on picture of I know. that I have. Get, a, get other pictures. Yeah, because the other ones... <laughs> that's oh, a rough one. You know, the, my main picture, I think, right now is the one that from when we were on a shoot at uh, Alex's old job, um, and it's, like, me... Oh, like, the one behind the like, bar? It's, like, yeah, it's, like, an RT. Okay, looking that's board. a good one. Yeah, it's a good one, but it's also not a good one to lead with, or a good one. It I think that might be a good one to lead with. It is like professionally taken, though. It's like a nice, it's like a nice picture. Yeah, but I also that's I a, think it might be that's like the peak per- of my weight. Yeah. But especially okay. like, especially that like behind the bar, you kind of look like a hipster. You can't see it. Though. It's nicely lit. You can't see me behind the bar or any of that stuff. You just see like a couple of the lights, and then me, and then trash bags behind me. Oh, it's the side picture. Yeah. Oh, is there a good one of me from? I thought there was a. You can probably take a screenshot from that phone. Oh, that would be good, like a screen grab of that. Yeah, yeah. but then it looks real professionally done, and you have that pretentious ass quote underneath. It's not a quote. It's just me saying. What well, still? But to go, I couldn't think of anything witty. Okay. But you also look like a hipster. Yeah. And so it just is like, okay, he's a hipster guy that has a super hipster quote. Yeah. I couldn't think of anything funny or witty to leave here. I eventually will. I said I would. What would you put there then? If it was I don't know. Yeah, I've, been so out, I've been out of dating for almost four years. Like, well, I don't know what to put there that doesn't seem stupid. So I literally just said, I know that there's something yeah, like right. profound, witty, and like whatever the other thing is, humble to put here, but I don't know what it is. Yeah, you can do something like kind of funny where like you just write like stuff about you, mm-hmm. and, but like the first letter of like every line spells out something funny. Like an acrostic poem? No, so it says like, so my name's Nick. Uh, everyone likes and it's, it's an acrostic poem. So it'd be like send nudes yeah, at the end of yeah, or something very dumb like that. So it's don't do that because that's weird. That's I don't understand that. What that send nudes thing? 
What do you mean? Never got that. What, like, saying? Yeah, how everybody's like, send nudes, or like, they'll hide the word send nudes in a bunch of shit. Never got that. Wait, you know what I'm talking about? It's like a thing. I mean, I know people say it's yeah, it's a, dude, it's a big but, thing. But it's like a thing of like. Actually, it was a thing. It was a thing. It? it was a thing like eight months ago. Well, I get where it'd be like, uh, it'd be like, I'm just making this up, but it'd be like a shot from a helicopter, and then it'd be like somebody zooming in down to the beach, and then like in the beach is written like send nudes. Like, I it's very like convoluted and obnoxious. Like, what, but like, what, what is the point of it? I don't know. Is there like a thing? I think people think it's funny. Is it like that weird owl moth thing? Oh my god. That <laughs> meme was so fucking stupid. Is it like that dress that had that was clearly one of two colors? Like I actually the weird thing about that, I saw it both ways. Like I could like change oh, my mind. Someone's so cool. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> like I could like change like how I like the first time I think I saw it, I thought I saw white and gold. And then like I thought about it and like I just kept staring at it and then it was blue and black. I think I saw blue and black and I don't think I saw anything else. Yeah. I was think it was like, actually blue and black. Yeah, like, it was actually blue and black. But I think, like, you could change how you see it. It was, like, a weird thing, like, with how it was lit and all that kind of stuff. It's not, like, it. people were making it seem like it was one of those, like, Let's you know, talk more about a fucking, a meme that went around three yeah. years ago. No, let's, let's, let's wrap up, <laughs> let's, last few thoughts on dating, but, yeah. like. Because we're at an hour 41. Well, that's a pretty good spot, actually. Yeah. Um, yeah we'll, I mean, we'll cut out those pee breaks, because I have to pee again, yeah. shockingly. Yeah, because I feel like we haven't, we've kind of barely talked about dating, we just have done turgent. Like turgent. Turgent. <laughs> oh man, it's butters on the brain. <laughs> turgent. Turgent. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You forgot the D. Oh shit, damn it. Because you forgot the D? I did forget the D every time. Detergent? Detergent. <laughs> uh, this guy. It's so stupid. Alex, it's weird. All he can make are laundry jokes. Uh. <laughs> he just always looks at me and just uh, like, you know, Mr. Clean. You know me, I just go with the time. <laughs> That's actually really good. Some people say my jokes are a little downy. <laughs> you had too many of these in the pocket. Like, you had so many of these just like on deck, just ready to go. Uh, <laughs> You're just like, batter up. Let's do it. I'm all about them gains. <laughs> oh, that, was, that, was, <laughs> that was a rough one. That was a, that was a bit of a stretch. God. Those first two are fucking killer, though. Yeah. <laughs> I just had a laundry detergent pun on, so on deck. It's ready. Uh, um, but yeah, so I, I'm kind of at the point where I think I'm going to, I don't say this in like a melodramatic, like gross way where I'm like, Oh, I'm going to be alone forever. I'm kind of like, I think I might be. Cool <laughs> like, I don't know if I'm cool with it, but I feel like. Oh, that fucking laugh just peaked hard. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> but literally, like, I feel like everybody, like you always hear people like, oh, nobody loves me. I might be alone and they meet somebody and they're very happy. And I'm like, yeah. I honestly think I will be alone. No, you won't. No, stop. Let me be, let me be this way. <laughs> like, I think I'll be. Will you be a sad sack? Yeah, just be like a sad, mopey bitch. Just like, ugh. Sad, mopey bitch. <laughs> yeah, that's what I want to be in my life. <laughs> you're just like, oh, you're like, I have this friend and he's cool and this friend and he's doing this guy. And then I have this mopey bastard that I just <laughs> yeah. hang around with. I bring him along to make him feel better about himself. I'm, I'm like, have you seen Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? Uh, I don't think I have. Oh, I'm, You're just like a droopy dog. Uh, no, Alan Rickman plays like a, plays a clinically Rickman. depressed robot. And he's just... He's a gay, just, depressed you know, robot? Clinically depressed robot. Oh, that's great. He's not a gay, depressed robot. He's just a depressed robot. No. Why is it... Was Alan Rickman gay? I don't know. Well, he might Does it been. matter? No. He's dead. You ask that all the time. <laughs> yeah. Was Alan Rickman gay? Snape well, you, gay. You well Dumbledore was gay, so maybe Snape's gay. Well, you don't usually say it like that. You usually say, like, was he gay? <laughs> Yeah. It's like, not technically homophobic, but you can, but you can feel that like there's some meanness there, just, <laughs> there's some anger, just riddled with hate for no speech. reason. <laughs> Even though I love Alan Rickman, yeah, loved. Sorry, R.I.P. Oh, of course not for my homies. He died from cancer, didn't he? Yeah. What kind of cancer? I don't know. Like prostate cancer? Yeah. Let's speculate. I thought it was. I thought it was like something like testicular cancer, like prostate cancer. Whatever. How about let's stop talking about it. Yeah, to leave you guys yeah. with cancer. Let's finish up this little bit about dating, then we'll wrap it up. So what do you what are your what are your thoughts? Like what do you what is it like if you had to let's let's say you were single now, do you think that you would do well dating wise? No. Well you're not at all. You're a pretty good looking dude. I don't mean that like let's not be like weird about it. I'm like I'm not saying like whoops. I got so I got hot. I got some relationship weight on me right now. But you're like you're like a normally like a pretty good looking guy, like when you're not like super, super fat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's so mean. <laughs> that was very 
funny. Uh, I am a tub of lard right now. No. Uh, sure. I've been called yeah. pretty before. Yeah. I'm. I think where I win is with with the words. Yeah. With yeah, you're a good talker. Yeah, because it's not. It's not. I'm tall. I have that. Yeah. And I'm, I'm not. Very, like, I'm a very. I'm a very slight man. Yeah. Not slight. Short. Yeah, I wouldn't say you're slight. Yeah. You're like a tiny little <laughs> thing, like a just shriveled little I'm not boy. like a little pygmy boy. <laughs> the age of 25. Yeah, I'm a little pygmy this man. This is my pygmy boy. Yeah. <laughs> I bring him with me. Come, boy. Hello. <laughs> I'm walking. three foot two. Come on, boy. <laughs> this is my pygmy. I'm three foot two, 52 pounds. Alexander, I call it Augie. <laughs> um, yeah, check me out on Instagram. Augie Pan you. Augie Pan you. Yeah, we'll plug that. A-U-G-G-I-E-P-A-N-U. What up? Whoa, you have that rattled off in a weird, like, Big Mac kind of way. Big Mac? Like, oh, what a cheese pickle then. <laughs> you all beef things. <laughs> like, you know how to rattle That really your shows your age. <laughs> when was the last time that ad was out there? I don't know, but, you know, this 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 episode's sponsored by 1-800-CALL-COLLECT. <laughs> Whatever it was. How happy are you with that? I'm so happy. Remember Carrot Top? This joke is sponsored by Dial-Up Internet. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, get off the phone. I want to use the computer. Um... The show is sponsored by Nick at Night. Oh, Nick at Night. <laughs> Fresh Prince of Bel-Air Marathon tonight, starting at 6 p.m. Eastern. There's a show that you say on there we can't watch anymore. Oh, God, the show? <laughs> yeah. Woo. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, so, you, what, you think you do bad? You think you would? Yeah, I don't think I do well. Yeah. Because it's, it's – it's, well, I think you do better than I would, though. I think you can agree there. Just because your pictures would probably – I think you're definitely like – you. I definitely get more matches. Oh, I, think I, do, I get way more sure, matches, yeah. yeah. I think – I think I'm like the. I have to like be able to talk to somebody because also I'm very dry. Like yeah, like Nick is so dry I'm, sometimes where I, I kind of I can tell now. Yeah. But I mean, we've only been friends for like less than a year. Yeah. Seriously. And I like for the longest time could not tell if he was fucking with me or not. Uh, yeah. And and now I'm getting I'm getting better at it. Yeah. But there's still sometimes where I'm like, are you? Are you? Fucking? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're like, you know that's such an absurd thing to say. You better be joking. Yeah. But yeah, but that's the thing is like most people have no clue, which makes it fun for Alex because he knows. Yeah. And so I'll know it's that it's like a joke that yeah, I just yeah, made yeah. there in the moment. But it's one of the funniest things ever is when you say something that people think is serious. Yes. And you could not be screwing with them more. Yeah. That's my life. That's all I do. It's great. Well, you know that. You've yeah. Seen me. It's terrific. I I say some like I realize this now, and you've kind of told me before. I say some like truly weird shit because I know that I'm dry and I know that people will think it's true. Yeah. I feel like that, I don't know if it's because I don't care. I think that's a huge part of it, but also that's why I think I'm probably not going to be good with dating online because I, that's just who I am. And I'm not going to yeah, be like, hello. You can't, you can't really get a, like you, you don't really get tone in a text. Mm -mm. Mm. A lot of miscommunications in a text. That's especially me. I mean, we've me and Brady been dating for, Almost four years, or yeah. not almost four years, three yeah. and a half years. Yeah. Uh, but still, like occasionally, like when we text, like she'll be like, "Wait, what?" Like she'll think I'm being serious about something. Yeah, because she's just completely the, fucking with her. What if she sent you a text that just said "asshole," period, or "asshole?" Question <laughs> mark. Those are two very different things. <laughs> Those imply very different ways your night's gonna go. Yeah, one of <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I was gonna say one of them. She's calling me an asshole. <laughs> and the other one, she's asking if you are. Yeah. Asshole? Whoops. Uh, I'm saying yes. Yeah. Well, so to wrap it up, I think it's it's just impossibly tough. But I think it's it's almost it, I kind of because I'm so like I think life is just hilarious and I'm so just like whatever. This is yeah. Hilarious. You're like a dry absurdist. I uh, yeah yeah. Because I just don't give a fuck. Yeah. And so that's why I'm not like a lot of people get down about it. So I, but I'm just like I think it's fucking hilarious. I especially love. When I match with somebody, and then I feel like they get a better look at my pictures, and they're like, then they unmatch with me before <laughs> talking to me. I think it's the funniest <laughs> thing ever. They unmatch before talking to you? Yeah. Oh, that's great. Dude, it's so funny. Well, because I think there's a lot of people that just swipe up, or they swipe on that first picture. Yeah. And don't yeah. read. See, whenever I was on it, like, because I was on it for a little bit. Yeah. On Bumble? Uh, Tinder. No, Tinder. Bumble wasn't even around. When I was I was on it. Tinder is just a cesspool. Well, Tinder is just people fucking, right? Mm -hmm. Bumble is like people trying to date. Tinder is just like... You want some strange, like in ten minutes. It, well, Tinder is like people like wanting strange under the guise of wanting to date. Is it? 
a lot of people are on there like maybe just I get, to fuck, but they act like they're on there to be like a good person. I think I have like a weird uh, – like my perception is way skewed because I follow uh, our Tinder on Reddit. Mm-hmm. And so it's just screenshots of people's ridiculous profiles. Oh, some of them are crazy. Yeah. yeah sure. And so like that's like how I see Tinder as now. Mm-hmm. It's just people trying to fuck. I've had – some of the most weird things that I've ever had said to me were said on Tinder. Yeah. <laughs> but I think Bumble is a better... People's, like, insane opening lines. Oh. Yeah. I really... That's what I Because like you have Bumble. to stand out so much now, because mm-hmm. you just get in it. Especially girls. Girls get inundated with messages from dudes, and the second they get out their number, it's just dick pick city. I know. That's, oh, why you have that's to one of my favorite sentences or phrases I ever said. Big dick city. You have to be... Or dick the, pick city. Big dick city. Big Sorry. dick city. Dick pick city. Yeah. I think it's... I think it's... Like DPC. Adam. Dude, there's still cops outside. And I don't know why. I, I made such a good baseball joke, but you didn't get it. Oh, sorry. What did you say? I said Dick Pick City. I said, I think his name's just Matt Adams. Because <laughs> <laughs> Big City. Big City, yeah. Um, but, it's a local St. Louis reference for you guys. Yeah, we're, I'm a big sports fan. What up, Paul Goldschmidt? Um, <laughs> <laughs> the, that really dates this episode specifically because it happened yesterday. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Dude, let's wrap this bitch up. Oh, yeah. Okay, so yeah. Anyway, so yeah. It's craziness. We'll... I'll, I think we'll probably regularly talk about this because I can make fun probably. of myself. Live updates. Yeah. Live updates. Yeah. We'll do this once a day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then combine. Yeah. I tried to say combine and compile. So oh. I said compile. For some reason I thought you, were, you said combine. Well, you said something with I said compile. Is that what it was? I think so. Oh, for some reason I thought you were saying Chris Pine. <laughs> so it's something Chris I, Pine. Combine. I don't know. Chris Pine? Maybe I said combine. I think that's what I think it was combine. Yeah. Um, okay, dating sucks. Anyways, so that does it. Uh, none of that really matters in the end. Nope. Read Middle West, don't read Middle West. Read Saga, don't do it. Date or don't. Be alone <laughs> like me. Be alone. Be with somebody. Yeah. Who gives a shit? Like, honestly, we're all on that slow march. Be happy. Be sad. <laughs> we'll all be dead eventually. Yeah, nothing matters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm, dude, I'm going to cut it right there. <laughs> nothing matters. Ha ha ha. I feel like we should. Done. This is, this is how I want to end every episode for me okay. at the very least. You should have stopped listening to this an hour ago. Oh, that's more. for sure. That's what I want everybody to know. Every time you get to the end of one of these, I want you to remember. This is almost two hours. You're so dumb for finishing this. Yeah. <laughs> but thank you. This is just two buddies that happen to own microphones. <laughs> yeah. This, yeah. Because one of us was like, we should do a podcast. The other one was like, okay, I'll buy all the equipment. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking psycho. Yeah, yeah. I was on my doing a podcast and Nick came to me one day and he literally had like hundreds of dollars worth of equipment. And he's like, okay, yeah, we're going to do this. And I was like, okay, that was a little overboard, but. <laughs> You're like, well, that solved my problem. Yeah, those like $80 mics. Yeah, I'm cool with it. Mine's All right. right. Um, so uh, you can find uh, yeah, us. Yeah, keep stuttering. <laughs> we'll probably start an Instagram. Oh, yeah, we should. And maybe a Twitter. Yeah. That's easy. Uh, Man, I fucking hate Twitter now. I don't like tweeting. I just like following people. I don't, yeah, I don't use it to just do Instagram. what I think. Just do Instagram. Okay. Everybody uses Instagram now. I like Twitter. People want stuff, though, so they can connect with you easier. Twitter, or, Twitter is also easier to link stuff. Oh, way easier. Way easier doing stuff. Instagram is only good for pictures. And apparently sliding into the DMs. That's another thing about dating I don't get. But I'll figure yeah, out I don't get that either. Uh, sure, Instagram, sure though, we'll start posting like probably minute-long clips of shit. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I'll I start think, pulling stuff. And probably like other stuff that we're doing because we hang out a lot. We might just take like random pictures and people care. Yeah. But, like, if we fun back fun back things back. that are related to the show will be on Instagram. Yeah. Uh, so we'll say it for right now. Instagram at not that it matters. Uh, if we can get that. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah. I'll I mean, try to get it. I'll, you know what? I'll, I'll get it now. Yeah. Uh, uh, talking. So uh, you can find me on uh, Instagram and Twitter at the Nick Lanham, L-A-N-H-A-M. You can find Alex on Twitter at... Uh, Twitter, I'm not even going to give out. I don't even tweet. Okay, you can't find uh, it's there. It's truly pointless to try to follow me. That's true. Yeah, uh, don't... Instagram is at Augie Panu. Yeah. A-U-G-G-I-E-P-A-N-U. Yep. Hit it up. That's right. Um... We will be coming at you weekly. There's a very good chance that we might. Yeah, we'll be coming at you weekly. Yeah, coming yeah. at you. Live broadcast. <laughs> Just look over your shoulder every week. You'll find us. Yeah. Come at you. Um, man, we better only have like one listener because we have to track somebody every week and just come at them physically. Yeah. That the second we fun. get like 10 listeners, we're oh, we'll just we're never so sleep. fucked. Uh, oh, boy. <laughs> okay. Did you find it? Did you get it? No, not yet. Um, Fucking do it. All right. Signing off. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. God.